the 8 o'clock. We want to welcome you back to the Turning Stone Classic number 28. I'm Upstate Al of AZB TV. And uh, as you know, you could see uh, Matt Tetro up at the table. He'll be playing Mr. Pat Fleming, the owner of AccuStats. And in the box here, and commentators, we're going to have Bill Hendrickson. We're going to have uh, Jerry Forsythe of AZ Billiards in the booth. And uh, I don't know if Ed Colhane is going to sit in, but he is here at the booth. Before we get underway, you know, there's a lot of sponsors that really put everything together here. Uh, we want to mention them not in any kind of order at all. Uh, so we're going to go a little bit with Chalky Sticks. Uh, this is uh, Matt's baby. He's in the chat. He's having a little issues with his internet service provider on his end. Uh, it's uh, chalkysticks.com. Uh, it's an app. It's free to download for iOS or Android devices. Uh, you turn on the location. It'll tell you what your nearest pool room is, what kind of equipment they have. There's also a diagram table on there where you can diagram a shot that might have come up in a game. And sort of like what the champions do, it's the same app that they use. Uh, other than that, it has a 24-hour billiard channel. It's chalkysticks.com. We also want to uh, mention light-systems.com. Uh, this is the lighting that's uh, really uh, spreading across America real fast. It's all LED. It's very light in weight. You can hang it just about anywhere. They actually become invisible. I was in a pool room perched up about 12 or 15 feet in the balcony, and I can overlook the pool room and actually see every player that's on the table. You, there's no, like, ducking and weaving between big box lights. It's light-systems.com. We want to thank Baltimore City Cues. Uh, Baltimore City Cues are the sponsors from Karen Core. Uh, they are here on location. Their motto is they will bring anything from tips to tables to your event. So if, you have a, if you're having a major event and need billiard supplies, simply go to BaltimoreCityQs.com. Greg Antonakis, uh, get your Southwest from the best. Uh, that's Mr. Greg Antonakis. He now informed me that he does have custom cue sticks to fit your budget besides, of course, the Southwest that are, uh, everybody wants. But if you're in the market for a Southwest, contact Greg, GA9Ball at gmail.com. We want to thank the Kings of Vapor and also the Kings of Billiards in Akron, Ohio. Uh, Chad Bowling not on scene. He actually is a sponsor for one of the UFC fighters and was out in Vegas for uh, the Mayweather fight and uh, McGregor fights. So we want to say a big shout out to Chad Bowling. He might come here Sunday for the finals. Poolonanet.com. Mark Dion, MD Promotions up in the New England area, is making it happen so quick up there. You can see this schedule is practically full right here. He's, and you can see prize money up there, $27,000 added throughout the season. I believe next weekend he has a $5,000 added event. Contact Mark Dion on Facebook or simply go to MD Promotions and make sure you get in touch with him because that's where it's happening. We also want to thank Kamui. And to get in touch with Kamui, they got the, uh, the cleaners. Of course, the best tips on the market. Kamui tips. Uh, Mr. John Bertone uh, really getting on board with AZB TV many, many times. Uh, we want to support Kamui. And uh, make sure that you guys uh, pay tribute to these uh, sponsors if you're in the market for an item. Uh, these are the guys that are really making it happen for us and bringing us, giving us the opportunity to bring the live stream to everybody out there. Let's hear a word from light-systems.com. Sponsor that's with us uh, throughout the year, Checkio. Mm -hmm. 
And you can get your Checchio at us.checchio.com. It's a natural sports drink for uh, focus, endurance, you name it. That drink does it, and I can swear by it because I don't drink sports drinks. But there was one time I was really tired, and Jared Arasamina, the jazz man, was with me at Super Billiards Expo, and uh, he said, Al, why don't you try it? And I did. And I can tell you one thing. I could swear my eyesight started to improve. I wasn't really dragging anymore. I was focused on what was at hand and what I had to do. It's us.checkio.com. Uh, Mr. Mike Burton, he's here. It's MBQs. That's Mike at MBQs.com. You can get in touch with him. He's got an array of sticks here from Josh Q's from the 70s or maybe even older than whenever they started, all the way to the present. As far as brand new Josh Q's, he's got them here. So if you're in the market, make sure to get to the Turning Stone or simply email Mike at Mike at MB, that's B as in boy, Q's.com. I got to mention this guy here. He's been doing so much. It's Ed Ladawi, again, 2017 New Jersey State Nine Ball Championship coming up September 9th through the 10th. Get in touch with Ed Ladawi at Sandcastle Billiards in Edison, New Jersey. Last year's winner was George Rodriguez out of Brooklyn. And of course, uh, it's going to be, it could be George again. But let's uh, support Ed and get behind him. Not only that, if you're a one pocket player, there it is right there. It's the monthly one pocket open. It's taking place September 24th. It's a $120 entry fee. It's limited to 16 players. So I, if I were you, I would get down right away because I'm sure the field is going to fill up. And you can get in touch with Ed at Sandcastles in Edison, New Jersey. It's a one pocket tournament. Get involved. We want to thank Simonis Cloth, and of course, right here on every table is Simonis 860, only the best. Cloth that you can use is Simonis 860. And Aramith balls are the balls that we're rolling with. If you want to roll with the best, you get Aramith. We are playing with the Aramith tournament TV set right here on the live stream. It's Aramith. We want to thank the world's largest pool and billiards website. It's azbilliards.com. If you're not a member and you want to learn or know what's going on in the world in billiards, that's the place you're going to find it. It's azbilliards.com. So in the box, we're going to have uh, Jerry Forsythe, uh, Bill Hendrickson. We're going to have Ed Colhane as soon as Mike Zuglin gets done with his announcements. We're done with ours. We'll be back, folks, in five. You know what? I want to thank uh, Old Too Slow. I just looked over at the chat. We do have a chat open, and I noticed that Old Too Slow, that's Jimmy. That's our boy down there, uh, down south. We call him the Southern Thang. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. Folks, you know what? It's not easy doing what Jimmy does. Uh, you can see all those links in there. It's, uh, it's a lot of copy and paste. That's making it a lot easy for us just to click those links and actually pay a visit to the website. Uh, if, if you're in the market for something, or, or send them an email. Thanks, Jimmy. I didn't see you in there. I just glanced over. The chat is actually going to be uh, off to my right. I'm going to allow the chat to be in front of the commentators on, on a major screen. And uh, this way they, uh, they don't really talk to the chat much. They're actually more involved in the match, but it'll be away from me, and, and I can't see it. So I'm going to bring that over that way so that these guys can uh, possibly answer some questions. Expo one pocket division and he's player rep for 
Comcast Q Club in Baltimore, Maryland. Tom Ziegler, right there. All right, right down here. You got two guys that don't. These guys are separated. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I thought you guys liked each other. Hey, Mike. From Agawam, Massachusetts, he's a multiple winner on our tour, former Northeast Nine Ball Open champ, former Mass Massachusetts Straight Bowl champ. Welcome, Matt Tatro. And his opponent is going to sit on the other side of the camera this time. He's a BCA Hall of Famer. He's the owner of Accustats Video Productions. And he is a former top pro in the U.S. All right, as Mike uh, Zuglin is uh, going to make his other announcements, the players can lag, and here they go. Pat Fleming on the left, Matt Tetro on the right, Jerry Forsythe, Bill Hendrickson, and Ed Colhane on board. Everybody's hot. And welcome to Turning Stone 28, and we are really looking forward to this one. We haven't seen Pat Fleming play in a decade or more, <coughs> and... Uh, for him to take on a sharpie like Matt Tetro here, that's a, this is going to be a match. Matt's real, Matt's last uh, last uh, play I've seen him play at Providence. He did real well. In fact, he had Jason seven nothing. Well, so he, this kid's capable. He he, did, he does well here every yeah, time. Yeah, good kid. Pat, yeah, yeah. Pat uh, won the lag, and Pat will be doing the uh, first break. All right. And it is rack for your opponent. Matt Tetro is up there uh, stacking him up. Pat Fleming not even checking. He says, I want to get the shakes out. To sit him medium speed, he didn't try to hit him too hard. He blocked that corner, but he didn't block the lower left hand, lower right hand corner, so that's yeah. probably where he's going to go at. Yeah, he didn't make one either. Is that the two on the bottom rail here? Yeah, so the two's he, on the bottom rail. He's got so a, lot, a lot of work to get down here, too. Maybe he'll play a safety. He's going to shoot this down the corner, come off the, the left side long rail probably to get another 2-5 combo maybe. Or if he comes to the other side, he could play a 2-9 carom <laughs> yeah, um, and get safe <laughs> at the same time. Oh, yeah, right, you're right. It's a two-way shot. You have to break from the box here, uh, I'm pretty sure, right, Al? Yes, correct. Right from the box. But I noticed, a good thing, good point you brought that up. Uh, in the match previous to this one, I noticed that Eric out of Canada was making the wing ball and not moving the cue ball all the way to the corner of the box, the far corner, just a few inches off the spot. And he was making the ball, and Mika wasn't. So right, right. that sweet spot might not be that far corner like usual. He fired at a bank here for the, uh, he liked the angle. Pat has a, a, a bank system of his own, all, all numbers uh, th that he studied for years and years and years. And he, he remembers a lot of it, but he lost a lot of it. And he, made, he, he just lost that pocket for the three, I think. Yeah, he has a table at home, and he had the, the rails all numbered uh, Correct, yeah. by inches, and he had them like coordinates, sort of like a... You know, uh, south, southwest, north, northeast. So, so does Matt go for the carom on the nine ball here? Oh, behind it, you mean? Yeah. To go behind it, huh? Well, he can carom off the two and use the three as a as a bumper to hit the oh, nine. Oh, he, uh, he can make this nine ball. Well, he made the bank too. He left himself another combo here, but he's still at the table. Well, combos have never been my favorite well, <laughs> shot of choice. Not on diamonds, anyway. 
If the floor is frozen to the reel, it's twice as hard. If it's a little crack off the reel, I yeah, can't Yeah, I think see. it's off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I think he's got the crack, and I think he can leave that ball there for shape. Something about it's got him nervous. Well, it's a fairly thin cut. You know, it isn't a, a full hit on the three, and the, he doesn't want to go down too far. Oh, yeah, this is no easy shot. He's, he's looking at a safety here? No, he's going he's gonna to play the combination, but he doesn't want to go down too far and end up with a hard shot on the three next. You might see him bump the nine just to hold the cue ball. That would be a smart idea, but we'll see. I don't know if he's thinking about doing that. I don't see how he could miss position on this combo. Oh, that way. Wow. See what he happened, really, how far down it went? Wow, it really did take off. Look at it, he got behind yeah, the four yeah. or the five. It, it's very cold in this room. The reels are going to play hard. Yeah. Uh, the cloth is all new, so it's playing fast. And, and, and the cue ball, I was watching another game. The guy was losing the cue ball right and left. It's going to take a little adjust, yeah, adjusting. Yeah, these tables are really slick. They never seem to stop rolling. Yeah. Right. Well, this this ball's a little close to the pocket, so he's got a shot here. So Pat's not out of the woods yet. He, he's... Uh, He's got to sweat that he doesn't kick this in. And that effect comes into play because we're using the best cloth in the world, folks. Simonis. I was going to say, look at this. Yeah, this this means the ball is a, a little unusual, too, to play with. You have to get used to it. Well, that was a good effort. Yeah. And he keeps leaving Pat tough, like these reverse cuts where you're looking away from the pocket. Yeah, shooting to the blind pocket is really not that easy. <coughs> well, but Pat... Pat's had such a layoff from pool, but to see him play by, by me every day, it just the stuff he does and yeah. the things he gets out of it, it's pretty impressive. Well, he can shoot this one in the upper left because of right. it makes for natural shape on the four. He's going to go to the right with the three. He's going to try and play it for the five in the side on the right side. I was looking at his eyes. Oh, that's the seven down there. Excuse me. He's going to roll this ball slow. He's going to just roll the ball, hope he makes it, and, and have the five in the side. Back on it. Yeah. The colors were a little deceiving on that on that on shot. The, on the, yeah, right on there. the monitor yeah, there. On that yeah. one shot, yeah. I'm sending you both to I dot. Al was yelling, nice shot. Look at that. Wow, good shot, Al. I mean, um, Ooh. So he left himself very tough. Well, the he's six got in a bad spot. The, the five is a real thin cut. Uh, but he'd probably break that six out right here on this side pocket. I doubt it. Oh. Hmm. I don't think he's got the angle to do that. He may have the angle to come around two rails and possibly cut the six in or play a safe off the six and get under the seven. I think he's going to go into him, Billy. I don't, I don't I think th he has that angle. I don't I think there's th enough room in there to cut that six ball. I think he might go go into them as well. I don't think he can do it. Let's see. The problem about going into him is you've got to know where you're going to hit him. You hit that seven yeah. ball square. You could wind up without a shot. Yeah. Look what he, he tried did. to go into him. He tried to go into him, and it didn't help. He did try to go in. It was a tough shot. Yeah, yeah. Well, see if he's going to stick him under the seven. Yeah, here. that's a, that's what he's going to try to do. Ooh. And the he same actually tried yeah. to bank the ball, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, he tried to do both. He tried to do both. Notice the speed. Yeah. That's what happens when I try to do both. I do neither. <laughs> <laughs> right. You exactly. <laughs> you got to be committed. Yeah. You know, <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't mean committed. I mean, you have to commit yourself to the shot. To play pool, you have to be committed. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> no pun intended. Nice shot. <laughs> Look at that. Uh oh. Watch out. Wow, he got the point hooked, maybe. I think close he to did. it. I think he hooked himself. No, he's got no, it. He's, he's not looking at the point, so I guess he got away with it, but he came close to getting hooked <clears> on that. And he got perfect now. Well, that could that get, that match could have that game could have went either way. So he should be out here. I think he's got a little bit of an angle to come up closer. Matt's actually a real good table mechanic. Uh, he does it for a living. Yeah. Many rooms in the upstate area. Oh, good for him. Is, is that his full-time job? I believe so. Yeah. Oh, good and for Damien him. Uh, actually works from the one of the referees here. So you don't want to call Damien over to watch the hit <laughs> on his boss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Matt draws the first blood, one to nothing in our race to nine. And Pat didn't do much wrong there either, by the way. He pocketed the balls he was supposed to pocket. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. he, he didn't get the best of the rolls. And, uh, but he did, he, did, he did play that bank. and I. I yeah, I don't I, know if he played the safer the bank is the problem. He, well, I'm thinking he played the bank because he hit it so hard and, and not to control the cue better. 
you know. The angle that the bank came up the reel looked as if he was trying to get into the seven to me. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But I can't tell. And maybe, yeah. maybe he wasn't sure because these reels are very lively and it's playing cold. Right, right. He's got to get the it's feel fast, for the fast table. table. Yeah. Fast. That was a tough, tough execution. Our listeners should realize that the three commentators are all very close friends with Pat Fleming. <laughs> yeah, it's so a little partial. Here. We're, we're a little biased. We all love Matt Tetro. I mean, yeah, he's a great yeah, guy, yeah, but sure. we haven't known Matt for 30 years. 40, 45, <laughs> 45 years. I know him almost 50. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah, right. You would know him longer than me. Yeah, sure. Uh, Maybe more than 50. <laughs> when he was playing in Bloom. Came to down my daughter's Jersey. wedding. Oh, good for you. Yeah. You're saying your daughter's 50s? 75 I am. I'll be I'm, oh, good. I'm 70. <laughs> well, I, I had the honor of nominating him for the Hall of Fame. Oh, good, good, good. And he deserved it, by the way. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Nicest guy in oh, the world. Yeah. Nicest guy on the planet. Done more for Poole than anybody else I know. Yeah, yeah, and still does. Just, he's an animal. He's just a workaholic. I don't know where he gets his energy. He's playing safe. Hide behind that three and send the one down. You don't think he's got room to knock that one in the center? Yeah, no, he's doing. no. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, you know what? It almost looked like he tried to play that off, off the, the ball. Off the two. Right, yeah. right. Well, Pat's got a chance to uh, run some balls here. This yeah. one ball's wide open. The two ball's sitting right there at the bottom left-hand corner. Yeah, this could open his stroke up. But the three's a little funny here. Is it? Unless it goes in the side there, the does it? The three's going to be not a problem. The four is the problem. The four, if he gets right on a three, he could come down and play the four across. But, you know, you got the eight and the five over there. I don't know what he's going to do with it. He's got to get on top of the three and shoot it right where the two ball is going to go in the pocket. It. Unless the three yeah, goes right in the side. That's, that's what he's lining up for now on the, on the two, yeah. Slow down. Yeah. What's he going <laughs> to go inside here, one rail and up, Billy, you think? Yeah, he's got to get on top of it. He inside just shot with his brake stick. <laughs> well, he could, he, could draw, he could draw under the nine and come around three rails and get perfect on the three maybe. Well, I, I think he's looking to play in the side, if I'm wrong. Uh, if you I'm know, if it were Brunswick, I'd play it in the side. Right, right. But this diamond, I don't know. Yeah, I can't see how, he's how draw, close Oh, no, he's drawing it around. Oh, okay, good. He got good. Yeah, get on top of it. Watch out. Oh, he's yeah, fine. He's really fine. Good. But now, let's, let's see how hard the four is now. Yeah, the four is turned into a real headache. Well, if he could just cinch this ball and pull it back just above the side, he'd be perfect. Can he pull it back without scratching? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't think about yeah, that. He's got the point right That's there. That's what he's, he's looking gonna at. He's going to follow this ball into the point and hope it just gives him a shot. Of, Pocket of, speed, yeah. It yeah, just gives him a shot on the four, of it, whatever he gets. He doesn't have a four or five combo, correct? I can't tell from that angle right now. He well, could play it if he wants to play yeah, it. Of course, he'll have a chance at it, but still, that either way is oh, a tough does, shot because yeah. eight's blocking part of it. Right. Well, no, no, but he has the whole f four or five combo if he wants. I don't think eight's blocking that end. Got to get good on it because the four could ricochet off that short rail and get in trouble with the eight again. So now he, I think he can't cut it now. Now he, yeah, now he's. He has to go to the right with the four or play a safe right, or, or send right. the cue ball under the eight or the five or maybe get under the eight, follow the cue ball safe under the eight. I don't know. Well, if he sends the four over to the right, some good things could happen over here on the left. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, you know, he could play for the combination, uh, a this, billiard or something. This man right here might be the most knowledgeable man in the sport today with all of his, uh, his, his knowledge and his – all the – the matches he's watched throughout, throughout uh, all the Accustats. You know. Did he just shoot the wrong he ball? He shot the wrong you know why? ball. You know why? Do you know why? He's colorblind. He's colorblind. You know, I could tell you a story. He did shoot the wrong ball. He was playing for money one time. Yeah. And I, was, and I half, half of his bet I had, and he shot the wrong ball three times. The fourth time I jumped out of my seat. And I yelled, Pat, don't shoot, it's the wrong color. Yeah. Steve Lewis didn't talk to me for five years. Steve Lewis got up and walked out. <laughs> yes. You know what? Pat does that Pat does that by me a lot. And, I couldn't and, take it. I couldn't take it three yeah. times in a row. The fourth time I couldn't take it. You, you know, it's just unfortunate he's colorblind there. And and well, the TV. The, the, the balls, TV do, balls, have, the the balls TV, do have numbers on. I had to look at them though. Yeah, well that's what he does. Yeah. Yeah. I had to look at them more so with the T V colored balls. He just thought he knew what he was doing. Yeah, yeah. He won't do that again now. No, not today. Boy, Pat had an opportunity there to at least to try to strike 1-1 one, one here. Well, it looks like Matt Tetro is going to get out and lead 2-0 yeah, in this yeah, race tonight. Yeah.
And indeed, wow. Matt Tetro now leads two that, to nothing. I feel bad for. Uh, never mind. A little biased in the booth here. Yeah, really. <laughs> it's okay. You can be biased. Uh, yeah, I know I can. He's no my problem. best friend. Especially the way you post things on the internet. You know, <laughs> we're. Jerry, don't don't encourage you, the man. You talk about fake news. This is it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> there's going to be gunplay here. <laughs> well, he he's uh, he made some good shots there. He's comfortable, I think. He's not uh, he's not dogging things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Last time I saw him do that was 1976. Shoot the wrong color. Safe on the one here. Take it easy, Sparky. Well, he is, but I bet you Pat Massey is this one in right here. He's going to spin right around this ball. I swear That's to calling for a lot. I, buddy. I see him play he all could, day long. He's going to Massey this like it ain't even in, like he like could the slow sits. roll this but to the left get, side if, of the one. If, if Massey he can't here. get shape. I mean, he's got a the push shot right here. There, right? Yeah. Doesn't he have a push option? Yeah, he's here? got a push. Oh why, yeah. Why would you do something crazy with a push? Just call him Spocky. He's way ahead of because, the game. Because because I've been playing him for months now, and and, and he's going to shoot this one ball. I don't care if the six is in the way. Well. Oh, maybe not. I got a don't feeling. make a liar out of me, Fleming. I got a feeling he's going to push. Peter, Pete Fleming. I got my money on the Peter, push. <laughs> Peter Fleming, you must be in the room, Peter. In the Peter Fleming in the chat. Yeah. Say hello, Petey. You can hit the back of the ball real soft. That's it, right. And come up and just hit it, but uh -huh. I don't see the advantage of doing that. That's all. Well, the way these balls ended up, it was an advantage. He did a real good thing here. Yeah. This is hard for anybody to get out of. He's in a little bit of a problem. Yeah, this is a little tough here. You know, if he grazes this ball, he, he's got to make sure he doesn't hit the point and stay down there. You know, give, give the guy a shot. He's got to go the other way, I think, and, and well, try the and other way it. might hit the ball. Uh -huh. See, uh -huh. it's tough. It's tough to get out of there. <laughs> if you could, oh, look at this. You might try and make the ball. I don't know what he's going to try and do here. He's going to try, try and, and kill that cue. Yeah. Okay. He, he did pretty good to get out of what he did, but now he's going to be in another safe. He's in, Pat's going to put this on his short reel and come all put the way up right, here with the yeah, cue ball. Put him right on the two ball and send it. Be, use the three as a blocker. and he'll Come be, all the way up here at this whole row of balls. Oh, yeah, yeah. He can come down here, yeah. You know, with the cue ball. Yeah, yeah. You bank that into the ball that's on the short reel, which is what, the eight ball or the two or something? Two ball. Two ball. Well, see, now, he, didn't, he didn't hit as well as he could have, but he might be well, here. Watch that corner there. Stay out of the pocket. Oh, boy, he got it. That's what I mean. They just won't stop rolling. Wow. That's a tough break right there. Well, he didn't leave him a pocket for the one, though. No, well, the two, the two might one be combo? dead in the pocket. You know, yeah, we can't see from here. Oh, okay, yeah. Yep. They have a one, three, four, five. This looks like a pretty uh, reasonable run out attempt here. Good shot there. I don't want to say easy, but it's not the most difficult rack I've ever seen. Yeah, shape from the four to the five is the. And the four is hanging, so and it, the isn't, it hanging. isn't too bad, you know. Yeah. Isn't too bad. You just got to keep from going up too high on the seven when he plays the four in the corner. He doesn't want to get behind the seven or the nine. Yeah. I like what he just looked at, playing rail first off the four and spinning to the other side of the five. The five must go past the nine into that same corner where the four lies. But I'm not sure if he's going to go. He's drawing out. He's got to be careful. No, he's going to play rail first here. He doesn't have to. He could just thin this ball and come up past the nine and before the seven. But yeah, like yeah. A, you know, if he goes rail first, it may be the safest way to not to be hit, but it's not the best shape you're going to end up with that way. Yeah, he's, he's going to draw out, like you said. He's going to come, oh, come one rail up. He won't draw it. He'll just thin yeah. it. Yeah, just nip it. Problem with that is you got to have a good angle off that five ball to go back up for that six also. Yeah. So, you know he's he's got a lot on his plate right here to deal with. Oh yeah, especially with these fast rails. He hit it perfect. Oh no, he didn't. Yeah, that's he how it works. Oh. See, that's why I like the rail first shot yeah. because you spin around the nine and you get him on the other side of the five. I smelled that happening. What did Pat? Uh, yeah, Pat I smelled that happening. Pat, what a break here. Maybe. 
Yeah, just in time, too. Well, you know, the break isn't yet. See, what no. happens is if when he hits this ball and the ball goes in and he gets perfect shape, that's not a break. Well, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. That's right. <laughs> now we'll see if he caught a break or not. <clears throat> Look at this. Or if the ball goes in the or pocket. Okay. So if he could see this, he caught a break. If he can't see it, he didn't catch a break. Yeah, he caught a break. He's got this rail first somewhere. He's probably going to go on on the the uh, in between the seven and nine. He can't this go under the. This is a real nine. hard shot. The ball's way out of the pocket. It's not in deep deep. It's got to go with the long rail. Well, and he could possibly miss this ball. I've been watching this. If guy. he hits it hard, if he hits it hard, he might not hit it at all. Yeah, yeah. You know, or or he might hit it fat and bank it out of the pocket. Okay. Things could go here. Yeah, I just got to make sure I cinch this ball and hope I see the next ball. Mr. Fleming down like Tiger Woods would have. Sure, he's looking at it carefully. It's a really it difficult yeah. shot. Yeah, this very, is re real close either way, I guess. He's very difficult shot. I, I wouldn't want to. The angle he's coming at is really hard to make that real first shot. I, I'm betting he does it, but it's a hard shot. Oh, he, cut, he went right at it, so he didn't go real first. Well, he cut right at it. Good speed, everything. And he ended up. Came ended up, up good. What, yeah, it was a wonderful shot. That's sweet. Yeah, that was good. Good for him. Sorry, folks, if I'm biased, but I am. <laughs> well, well he, he got a nice kiss off yeah, of that one. Yes, he did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he also made a great shot. Sure. He did. Good yeah. speed, everything. He's going to go to his left with the cue ball, play the seven, uh, I think, cross, you know, in the spot bottom right hand corner here. Now, here's a guy that's played everybody. I mean, and talk about the old times Irving Crane and Misery. Oh, yeah. And, and beat them all, too. And they went back and forth in their day. Ray Morton, Jack Calavita, you know. Yeah, he's going to stop right there on the seven and try to draw up on the eight. It's a good way to play it. Made it a little more difficult by coming too straight on the eight, but. Yeah, he's got the top he, rail. He's still group. fine. He's still fine. Yeah, yeah. He's drawing the ball. Yeah. yeah. Good shape. Yes, yeah, this isn't. He's liking it. This is the same nine ball that his opponent had in the first rack. Almost the exact same angle. Get up and reset. Point and shoot. Yeah, the point and click guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No strokes at all. Just gets up points and clicks. What do we got, Jerry, for score here? Two to one now. Matt Tetro still leads Pat Fleming. <coughs> but Pat's got the break. Pat does. <coughs> Excuse me. Pat doesn't like the break. And he soft broke that before. Yeah. And I think his objective is to lead the cue ball down on the bottom rail. And uh, he missed that before, but... I, See if he does that now. Oh, back when he was playing, he used when he would win the lag, he'd give away the break. He doesn't like the break. Yeah. His stats show that. Uh, what a gentleman, Jim Pat Fleming is. He just walked over to Matt and he said, "Matt, I'm I got nothing against uh, the rack." He, he said, "I'm just going to check it. I just want to take a look at it." He says, "I don't think you're giving me a bad rack, but I just want yeah, to yeah. see if I can read the balls a little bit." Yeah, there he did that. There, see, he sent the. See, Dan, a little bit of a mess here. That's pretty much what he wants. You know, he wants, doesn't want to leave the guy an easy out. Right, right. the break. I got news for Matt Tetro. He's a, he's got his hands full here. There's oh, this, he sure does. <laughs> Pat Fleming is going nowhere, trust me. I've seen Pat Fleming many, many moves ago when he participated in West End Billiards upstairs with the nine ball. It was corner. scary. On a regular basis. I mean, he's just something to fire at. He was firecracker back then and he looks like he's going to be a firecracker right here with uh, Matt Tetra on the other end. Al, are you aware of the fact that Pat's going to China? Yes, well he got the qualifier. I don't know if he's going to actually go. I believe he's going to go. But it's all expenses paid. I think he's got to go. It's, it's a ride. It's Did he just play for a window there for between the 3-9? The is that what I'm looking at? I thought he was trying to come down is here. Is that the 2 right there? Yeah, this is the two down here by the corner. Bottom left-hand corner. He played for that window there? Are you colorblind too, Eddie? No, but I mean, I can't believe he played for that window. He might have got behind. The, he might be safe here. Yeah. He had to come down to the bottom rail or bounce out in the middle of the table, and, and he hit it bad, I guess. I don't oh, he, he got a, bad, He yeah. has a jump cue. He's level to go, go well, get a jump cue he's going to back kick it and try and hook him behind that three. It's a perfect jump shot if you have a jump cue. Yeah, sure, yeah. Mika did that before he jumped the ball with a full cue. 
did it well. Well, Peck with a little bit of a break here. He's got a back kick this. A big break. Very big break. Oh, that didn't work out at all the way. Well, Matt wanted this. Now Pat's got some chances. Yeah, he's got a shot to tie this up now. Good. Good for him. Oh, look at the 3-9. That's probably what he's looking at. The Would three. you say, Bill, the 3-9? Um, no, I wouldn't say he would want to do that. But uh, Well, he's, yeah, but look, he's in line for that. Oh. You know, to bounce up in between the 4 and the 8 there. I'd like to come out to the closer to the middle of the table here and have the three. Oh, three geez, right I'm, God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the, the nine ball like it's a cue ball. I'm so sorry. I've been wondering what's wrong with your game. He didn't really. No, come, I'm, he I'm didn't sorry, come. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He didn't you come know. where he wanted to come. <laughs> no, he, he didn't. The ball, no. cue ball took off on him. And he may go for the three here. You never know. Yeah, what he's going to make this ball. Yeah. What's he going to do? Stop on the six ball here? Come two rails and try and bump the six and stop on it? It'd be nice. Like that. I'll oh, tell you why. Yeah, yeah, he uh, missed the six. Uh, very yeah. A lot of folks very out there uh, in the chat and around that are watching this stream here. Pat Fleming, he show you how sharp he, how sharp he is. Uh, spent a lot of time in Nanuet last week. Uh, practicing on diamond tables. Yeah, but the spot. In, in the spot, in a new room. <laughs> yeah, this is this room is very hard to practice for because it, it, when it gets cold in here, those reels just take off. That's a very good straight pool player, and he really knows yeah. uh, how to keep the cue ball under control. And for him to keep losing it over and over, it's got to be an anomaly. He's looking to cut this ball and play the billiard as well. I think he's playing for the cut, but he lined up for the carom also. I think he's afraid of hitting the top of this nine and going towards the corner pocket with the cue ball. He's going to have to play this real well. Oh, boy. Well, you called that one right. Yeah, that was a little, well. Well, he left him good here, too. Well, he's going to draw this right over. Yeah. It's still not uh, for sure getting out here, believe me. This is key right here, probably. This is just playing tough. Uh, a little you know, close to his work here. It's playing tough. This tail is playing tough. He's got to make a few good hits here yet. Yeah, he got pretty good here. Well, close, close to the boys in good shape. See how much that well, jumped out to the middle of the table? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think the seven goes in the side either. No, so no, like, no. You know, he's going to have to go he's across got, and yeah. back across again. He, yeah, he's got work here. Yeah, and that, <clears throat> I hope that eight ball doesn't get in his way. No, he'll go straight back and forth and shoot it down the other end. And he needs to get an angle on that for the eight ball. Well, this is going to be interesting here. This is, this is all tough here. Got a lot straighter than what he wanted to. Yeah. I'll tell you that much. Once yeah. again, the speed comes yeah. into effect here. He may have to play for the bank in the side here. Well, I doubt if he's going to want to do yeah. that. But play it down with some punch. He's just going to follow this oh, ball out yeah, and try to, to bounce it. out for the eight up here on the right side. But, you know, he's got to make the ball and then he's got to get where he wants to get. It's kind of tough. Yeah, he just took a glance at that bank shot, but it is what it is. That bank shot puts him around, comes around natural, naturally for the nine, though. So it's not a terrible pure, shot. Pure banker is not a bad shot, but yeah. Boy, I'd rather be cutting any day. I don't want to bank the ball and have to follow three reels around for the nine. Mm -hmm. The harder you hit that bank, the less likely you are to make but, it. But then again, it, when he does get on the eight here, if he follows it up, he's still got to get on the nine again. So yeah, yeah, but that's a standard nine ball shot. At least it's not a bank or something yeah. crazy. Uh, my guess is he's going to play for the bank. No, he's not going to play for the bank. That's what it looks like he's lining up. He might be lining up. I don't think he's playing for that bank. That defies all logic in my mind. No, he's letting the stroke out a little. Yeah, maybe not. Good shot. Way to call it, Jerry. Go for the cut. Billy, good call. He's going to zigzag this now back he, and he forth. He would have liked less angle than this. Sure, but yeah. this is all he could get without risking missing the ball. So yeah. he's got to do with what he's got. Yeah. Uh, he's even money to make this ball and get down there. Is he? I think even, yeah. even money. I think he is. Matt, yeah. 
This is a this is a nine ball player shot. Do you know right Matt here. Tetro, uh, Eddie? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, oh, good him. shooter, oh, hell of a shooter. Right. Well, you know what? He played Jason up in Providence last time out. And he had him seven nothing, but Jason won. But I mean, he made a couple of mistakes, and that's all it took for. You know, you can't do anything wrong against Jason anyway. But that to be seven nothing on Jason, that's pretty strong. The speed is the most important thing here. The, the, the yeah, shot, right, I think right. he'll make the shot. The speed is tough. Yeah, he nailed it. Oh, that's Boy, he hit a really beautiful speed. That was a great shot there. See him heading for that corner there. Oof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two more inches, he would have been hanging would, in the draws. Would have draws. been a heartbreaker, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. So Matt Tetro takes his third point of this match, leads three to one in our race tonight. Made a nice shot on the eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a great shot. He took a lot of speed off the shot, which is what kept him out of trouble. You know, he took a little of the speed off the shot. He, he knows the table's jumping. He allowed for it. Race to nine, maybe the first one who adapts to the conditions might have an advantage. Yeah. I asked Pat earlier what he thought of this table as he was practicing on it, and he thought that when you're shooting the ball down the rail, he felt as if they were pretty forgiving. When you're shooting into the pocket at an angle, is when he felt it was a little smaller. Mm -hmm. Al through the curtain over there. You know, he may have to send this cue ball off the one down behind the 7 5 here. That would be a good safety right here. Is he trying to make the ball? Is it well, yeah, no he's, shot here? Well, he's got, a, he's got a billiard off the off the eight to make it in the side if he wants. How about just cutting it in? Ma maybe that too, but then he's going to send the one a little, the two ball a little crazy, you know? Yeah, maybe you're right. I don't know what he's doing now. I don't think he's ain't lining up for any of that. Looks like he's playing safe. Yeah, he's coming down under the nine. Oh, we, oh, we left him a little bit of a window here. Maybe between the eight, two. Well, Not I, to make anything, but just to hit, you know. Yeah, he may be able to hit this ball straight at it. Yeah. But it's uh, it looks like a real tough it's hit. It's scary. It's scary, yeah. yeah it's a real he's going tough up and down it. Like, oh. And the side pocket might be in the way on one of the kisses, the kicks. He may have to go to the short rail, come back up. Right, right. If he hits it this way, either the side pocket's there or you got to spin the cue ball, which is risky on this table. Right. That was a bad hit. No, he hit no, the one. No, he hit the one. Yeah. The it one moved, it was a bad hit. It went backwards. Oh, really? Nobody called it. Well, yeah, I think, well, Pat didn't say anything. He's on top of stuff like that. You know, he's. He didn't call it. Yeah. I'm telling you what I saw. I think Billy's trying to start trouble. What do you think, yeah, Jerry? Go Messing there. around with our friend Pat. Go. He's, hey. he's, <laughs> he's an old time troublemaker, baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go sock him a shot, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Old school. No, I saw that the nine, the, the, the eight went this way and the one went straight down the other way. I mean, to do that, it's got to be about it. He needs to get straight on this two ball, right? Look what he did here. Look at the crazy person. What are you doing here, Mr. Fleming? Boy, he's Get made off him, that rail. Made himself a lot of work. But he can go up and back. And watch he's got what a he clear path. That, that's the problem. He's going to use the watch rails. Watch what he does here. These See are what delicate rails. You're using them too much. Yeah, he, mm -hmm. You're going two rails, one rail, three rails. You know, you don't want to do that. It's too much movement with, with delicate rails. If you look at Pat's cue, he just put the weight on. See the weight on the shaft? You'll see it in a second. See yeah, that? Yeah. Does that when he's near the rail. Yeah. Keep yeah. the shaft down. Right. right. Keeps uh, on an open bridge. It keeps the weight down on his on his, on his his finger. Oh, he's doing a closed bridge. There he goes. Now he's got the weight on and puts more weight on that bridge hand. I was just at the machinist the other day. I took that weight, and uh, the machinist was on vacation, but they took the dimensions. Look at that. He got good here. Watch out for that angle. Oh, yeah, he didn't. Watch now out. He did. Now he got good. Oh, he's good. Got well, good. that could have went either way, too. Good shot. 
So uh, I, the machinist was on vacation, but he's going to get a bunch of those weights made up. I lost mine uh, it, somewhere in Steinway. I don't know where. Yeah, I got some lead bubble gum I put on mine. No, this actually works really good. It's it's a really good item. Yeah, I, I got it from Earl Strickland. <laughs> lead bubble gum. <laughs> Earl's my hero. He's my hero too, believe me. He has a lot of great ideas. Is he bumped to six here? Played up in the corner, bumped to six? Or, or is he played on the side? Drew it? Go to the side. Go straight up. He, he might play the corner and bump to six and accept the longer shot. He it, could do but, that. But he has to to get the six out of the way. Because there's no pocket for the six down here. So he, that might be the move. There'll be plenty well, of pocket. Can, There'll yeah. be plenty of pockets for the six. He's got to make the five ball. Got to go off the five, Eddie, and then, then come back down. He's going to shoot. The, he's going to shoot the four or five, and he'll worry about the six after he makes the angle right. on the five. I don't like some of you guys counting. He's going to draw, gonna draw to the side rail and then yes. float down to the bottom. Eddie, right. you're thinking about leaving the cue ball up table. He doesn't have to leave the cue no, ball. No, no, no. That's not what I was thinking. There it is. That's all. He can come down for the side pocket if he wants, or shoot it up in the other corner. Yeah. Well, you have several pockets when you get all the way Does it go past the seven? If it goes past no, the seven, he's I, home free. I don't think it does. No, it no, doesn't. No, okay. it doesn't. He's got to play the side here. He's got Preferably two, two sides and right two corners side, right. you could play it for. Right. Get where the nine is, get where the seven is. Let's see how his position goes here. He's going to use inside English on the same. No, he's not. Take it easy, Sparky. <laughs> Hey, Gee, calm down. Whip. No, I'm just looking at this layout. He, this isn't easy here getting on the six, looking at that five ball. Why is he starting with me? Jerry, you're the boss. <laughs> you know, at, you notice I don't sit here and try to predict every ball. shot. No, no, no. The speed no, no, got no, no. him again. Seven ball. A lively rail got him again. Look I'm just, that that's seven. what I'm telling him. You don't want to hit all these rails. You know, today's the day you don't want to hit all those rails. Oh, oh he's got it in the corner. Yeah, yeah. It's, even if you got it, it's a heck of a hit off the he's rail. Got you got to shoot it. And then he's got to sweat the side pocket with the scratch, too. He's near the rail. Uh, everything's not wonderful Keep here. Keep it up. Uh, uh, look what I was doing, man. See? I just want to show everybody where your tax money is going. <laughs> 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 That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Pay your taxes. Make sure Eddie gets his check. That's right. <laughs> So he's got the corner pocket here, but oh, he's drawing it, drawing it a little bit. He's cinching his ball. Wow, nice what shot. A nice man. shot. Nice shot. Good for him. He, was. he fired that in, didn't he? That should have won him the rack. Yeah, yeah. As long as this ball doesn't go well, flying will, off the short this rail. This will bring him right back in it. Yeah. yeah. As long as it doesn't fly off the short rail. I would, I would aim the cue ball almost to hit the nine ball. This way, if it flies off the short reel, you know you're still okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he just pocket speed that. He'll be good. So right. Watch it fly. See it? Yeah. And he yeah. did what I said. He was aiming you know towards the nine? Yeah. In case. He wanted to get there, he said? No, he did it for the reason. I, he did what no, he did. No, he was, he was teasing with Matt. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to come up here. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> He played to hit the nine in case. That was a smart idea. So you keep flying. He's learning now. Yeah, the speed. yeah, yeah. He's getting that speed. And the more in. he hits the balls into the reel, the more he's going to learn the speed. But I hope it isn't you know, too late by the time he gets it down. Well, he's got two beads on the wire now while it's Matt has three. It's all good. It's a horse race. Yeah. I can't get comfortable here. This man was third in the world at one time. <laughs> and he's still, you know, he's, he never lost. He's just a natural athlete, you know. His bicycle riding and everything else. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he for knows those, how to pedal real well. For those that don't know, he's 220 miles in 12 hours on a bicycle. That's a, just That's phenomenal. That's because he can't get off. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when he gets on, he locks himself onto the bike. With his shoes, yes. And there's no way to get off. tell you, I've been behind some people that drive cars down in Florida. I don't think they can do 200 miles in 12 hours. 12 yeah. hours. 220. Yeah, 220 in 12 hours. How many miles a gallon does he get? Man. He's really into it. Good for him. He's well, I mean, into. for his age, that's wonderful. He eats, oh, yeah. He's keeping up with re youngsters. And I mean, he gets in these races, and when they finish... They all come over and talk to him because he finishes so good, and they go, how old are you? And they can't believe what they're up against. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anybody, really, who's in better shape yeah. for, the, for his age right, you know, right. than he is. Well, look at Foresight. Oh, yeah. 
I'll let Jerry here. I'm a shining you, example. You lost a lot of weight, <laughs> my friend. Oh, yeah. Did Earl, do that. Earl Strickland you stays did, pretty, good, pretty healthy, too. I He's, did, too. I've been working. I've been, at, I've been at it. I did 167 push-ups today over on table 14. Three sets of... Two sets of 50 and a set of 65. One hand or two? You know why? Somebody, Push-ups, that's pretty good. Some, somebody spilled some M&Ms on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> I did good, though. I did good. I'm happy. You know. All right, look look where Pat's breaking. Straight yeah. down in the middle. Yep. He's, Watch he's, the nine ball. Boy, that wing ball almost went in that See the nine ball? Look at that. Look when at I the break from dead in the middle, that nine ball always moves a lot. Look at that one. I never make anything on a break, but it moves a lot. He sent the one up top. Left the cue ball down here. That was his whole objective there. He was doing this by my house a lot, experimenting with it. Yeah. I'll keep it up. Uh, Jerry? Jerry? I'm not saying a <laughs> word. The ratings are going down. Ed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stay over here in my corner. No, this there is you go. Amazing. <laughs> Teamster loves me. This guy Teamster here. Uh, that's Todd uh, Nevins from uh, New England. He owns uh, Nevins Tools, actually. Thank, uh, thank sells you. Sells lays and, thank you, and industrial products. One uh, of the you can go right to his website. Uh, it's uh, Todd Nevin, uh, NevinsTools.com. One of the smarter men. He was a say. manager of Amsterdam Billiard Club down in the city when he lived in New York. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Wow. That's him. What's, uh, is this the push he's looking at here? Yes, absolutely. He's going to try to push this. Wow. Put him on the top rail. He might end up getting this back. Yeah, I'm giving yeah, it Yeah, you're not. You're not. Wow. Nice. You got a nice safety in Pat either direction, but you really got to hit it well. He didn't have to get out of his chair for this one. No, I, I don't see a nice safety in either direction. I see a tough hit to get it it any kind of it safety. Is, but he gave it back. He, I he can't go two rails behind it. He's... Oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry. Wow. In his favor, he's got a Listen, lot of balls thin down here. Yeah, would have yeah, right, thin right. enough hit, he could do real well, but look at the way this happens. Wow, how good did he hit it? Put it behind the eight a little? No, nope. he no. sold out. He's in the open. And the 2-5 is dead. 2-5 <laughs> is dead? Dead. 2-5. Every five. once in a while. Is that a the 2-5 right, right here, right? If he makes the 1, he'll have about a 4-1 to one shot of making that 5 ball. That's a 2-5 right here, right? Yeah, but where's the two going after he, you make that hit? He's two to one underdog to make the one and about four to one to make the five. You guys are nothing but trouble. Eddie, you're cut off. Come on, man. I'm giving now look what he's lining up here for. The two five. He doesn't know, but we got to He's gonna play it. the carom on the two five. How's that? I don't I don't like him getting shape on that two ball after that. But we'll see. I think he's out here. How about <laughs> And it's a description of what goes on here is is biased towards what he's drinking. You guys, yeah. Yeah. Ed, it's pretty, Ed, pretty good stuff. Al poured it. Ed's gone down the rabbit hole on you us. Know, it made a nice shot there, uh, but watch the whitey. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't let them get the best he of me. He got Flemming. himself again. Oh, the boy. rail got him again. See, he had to float that ball. Oh, boy. Some shots he got to float. That was one of them. I thought he did. I thought he was going to. That's why I called it. Well, he tried to do more with the cue <laughs> ball. You know, he tried to do more with the cue ball than, than uh, he had to do. Well, he, he can still hit the two ball. It's not like he can't hit the two ball. Yeah, he'll hit this one out of five times probably. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's going to mess around it. Yeah, it's a great shot if he does it. Oh. oh. No, he missed it. Uncomfortable, knee on the table, leaning over. It's very hard to uh, hold your position and mess say. It was a tough shot. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It, he even had a tough kick there if he went to the side rail. But there was balls in the way and everything. He didn't want to do what he did there. You know, we just... You miscalculated the rail one more time. Now he's liable to go for the draw underneath this. I don't know if he's going to try to get out or not. Yeah, he's got yeah. the three in the side. Yeah, he's got yeah. an easy run out. I thought it was harder than this, but it's an easy run out. Six, seven, and eight all go on the side. Yeah, yeah. And the the three goes on the side. The four, the four may be a little tough from the three to the four. I don't know, depends on the angle he gets. On the t off the two. You play the four down in the lower lower corner, maybe. Oh. What is wrong with this two five? Is it that bad? I'm, uh, what well, where's the two going to go? Where's See the, two the angle. Gonna the two's going to go to the short, the long rail. The two's going to yeah. end up on the, on the long rail. I thought he's. I, so uh, you could shoot it, but then you want to put the cue ball on the same rail that uh, it's going up, to. Up yeah. top by the chalk, sure. 
There's two chalks. I, I Which chalk are you talking either about? Either one. You're going to get good. <laughs> you guys are vicious. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, don't egg him on, Jerry. He just moved the chalk to the other rail now. Jerry, I got he, your house including keys. Including that rail now? <laughs> I got your house keys. Ed, I think you need to stick to calling cabs. See that where he ended up here? <laughs> he, he got really fortunate he's got any kind of shot now. Yeah, he's, he he's, did. He did. He's, he, and it's not a wonderful shot. I mean, I don't know where he's putting the four ball. Maybe he's going to have to shoot it down the other end, like Eddie said. It may go by yeah. the six, may go between the six, seven for the side pocket. Yeah, it may. Just knock it off, Jerry. You Come know what on. I would do? <laughs> you you know what I would do if I was a shooter? You know what I would do? I would shoot the three, then the five. And Pat will never know the difference because he can't tell it's the four oh, or the five. You, you know, that's heartless, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's Pat, a, that was a great idea, by the way. Pat, one of your best friends. <laughs> <laughs> You're vicious. That was, that was a great idea. Wait till well, I tell him I Hendrickson, said that. I'm going to tell him. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. It'll be on the Roku channel. Oh, my it? God. You're in trouble now. <laughs> oh, brother. He did get the side pocket, yeah. Jesse. Oh, there's, there's Jesse saying, hey, Bill, I see his name out there, Jesse. <laughs> He's a great player out of uh, Indicott. Oh, my God. I'm wondering why Jesse isn't in this tournament. Jesse, why aren't you in this tournament? Who is that? Jesse who? Arabello? Oh, no, our man. From Indicott. I don't know how to spell his last name, but it's, you know him. He's been on here before. He's getting ready to go up. Four I know one, his last five name. One. I just can't spell two. it. Right, four right. Two. Right. Four if four if two. Two. If he wins this, it'll be four to four two. Four to two, okay. That's correct. Not a crazy lead, so Pat's still in it. No, Pat's still got yeah. plenty of comfort room. If you guys would stop jinxing him with my calls, you know. Yeah. I, I Eddie, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe you got to slow down a little bit talking about him. Here. <laughs> you might be the black cat. No, no, no. He likes me. he likes it when I tell him. Jesse's he, last he name is like Jan Jankowski or Janskovich or something like that. Oh, yeah. Jan Janowski. Yes, okay. I know Janowski. Jesse, the mustache Jesse. He's got that mustache. Yeah, no, I mean, he doesn't have it now. Maybe. What do we got? Uh, Matt Jerry? Tetro leads 4-2 to two over Pat Fleming. Hey, I see but Jimmy. But Pat's racking. And I see Jimmy in the chat. How you doing, mister? You're missing the espresso in the office, boy. I make espresso for Jimmy when he's up by Pat, but he's he's been MIA for a while. He's sitting comfortable. He doesn't have to do that drive. Folks would like to mention uh, JB Cases, John Barton. Coming through like red, white, and blue, getting on board here and uh, allowing us to stay on the road. And uh, if you ever watch YouTubes about John Barton, not only will he diagnose a wow. fake case m similar to his that's made to replica, uh, repli represent his that's fake, he will tear it apart and put it back together again and show you why it's not a good case. And if you have one of his cases, and I've seen him do it many a times. And if there's something broken, he will repair it for you, replace it for you. He stands behind his product. Make sure to check him out. JB Cases. He's got a good layout right here. Yeah, this is pretty nice layout. But you get the four or five. If you get on the wrong side of the four, you might have a problem right. with the five ball. Uh, he just messed up there. Well, no, maybe he can stay above the seven here and bounce over. Yeah, he'll stay yeah, he above the seven. Yeah, I he think got he enough can stay of it. above the seven. Yeah. He didn't get too much of it. He got just enough. The trick here is I think he wants to get pretty straight on his four. Yeah. Yeah, he did good. Mm, if he gets straight on the four, he might be able to either follow or draw for the five, you know? Or bump into it. And now yeah, now yeah, he is going to exactly. bump into it, yeah. and that's a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he might be able to just bump into it on a slow follow, and then it's not too much of a problem. If yeah, he bumps into it on a draw, it might end up funny. Yeah, he's drawing it too. So he's going to try and miss the whole ball. Oh, he hit it. He might have got a roll here. I think it's. Well, it worked out because he's going to get on the other side of the six now with this angle, so he'll be all right. Well, yeah, he might be able to get on the other side of the six, but that's a difficult shot. He's so close to this ball here. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't like it at all. No, this is a tough shot. And you, th then if you go all the way across, you got to watch out for the other side pocket. Right, right. He might, he might get out here. And he did pretty well. Yes, he did. Look at this. He did yeah, better than yeah, I thought he would. Yeah, that worked out nice. 
He seems to have adapted to this equipment a little quicker than Pat. Yeah, he's got the speed down. So this will get him to a 5-2 lead. And that's getting downright comfortable. Well, yeah, you know what? It's, it's, it's a shame Pat had that kick on the five before, mis misreading the colors. You know, he's got that handicap of the color blindness, and it's uh, it oh, that, that also happened. That and, and the fact that he has laid off for so many years. He oh, look old, at that. But he, but he just got a break. What break a in the action, folks. Get the Zambodi ready. What a surprise that was. He just, that just took his eye off it, you know? Pat has quit playing pool for many years to oh. do his job and the AccuStats and the promote yeah. pool. And coming back at this age, you know, it's not an easy feat. Right, right. I'm rooting for him. Yeah. You know him too long to root against him. <laughs> Just a great guy. Right now it's four to two. Oh boy, look at this. And Pat Fleming uh, with an opportunity to close within one. I, I don't even know what, what he did there. He came all the way up. It's the speed, Bill. Speed's catching him. Yeah, he's getting a little paranoid about it maybe. This, this is gonna take a lot of concentration. Wow. Oh, boy. This guy's not out yet either. Look at well, this. He played this the cue ball a little bit this there, is too. No bar this shot's no bargain. Boy, yeah. I don't want to be shooting this for my money. This is a long, hard cut shot. With a, if you draw it, you'll be able to pull it over to the other corner and scratch. I mean, all kinds of things could happen here. Looks like Dennis Hatch just won his match he, as he exits the arena. We're watching Matt Tetrod attempt yeah. to pocket this nine ball just needs to cinch it don't do anything dramatic here just he needs to cinch the ball what do you do follow draw what are you gonna do no i wouldn't draw it no just, just i just follow scratch. it down i just put a little bit he of top might, yeah follow it down to that rail he was thinking about drawing it now he's changing it he didn't like it now he might change and follow he was stroking down on the ball oh he is gonna draw look at this i can't tell i know. don't like this draw part too much distance there it's or unless you hit it like that. Yeah. <laughs> when you hit it pure, it's a little hard to comply. Uh, great shot. No beef. No beef. Five to two. Great shot. Great shot. Matt yeah. Tetro now leads our match. That was a pivot. That was a pivotal game there. Five two. It really, it would have been really, four three. Yeah. Pat break and you know. Yeah, that's why I was. That's why I brought that up when he mis misread the color. It would have made it a lot closer than what it oh, is now, you know. And, and that last shot right there. Yeah, yeah. Just for could have been leading. Could have been leading. Right, right. Just a reminder, folks, that a 10 o'clock match is coming up. It's right around the corner. Uh, it's going to be a uh, bond burn. It's Martin Diego is going to be playing Dan Hewitt. Both players uh, oh, <laughs> run out. Those are two players. Those are two sharpshooters there, Pat. Both from Canada. Right out of Canada. Yeah. Both from, well, the three Canadians. Well, that would be the third Canadians on, on this table. Do you have the results today? Do you have the results of the previous matches? Uh, I got them all recorded. Uh, they're Six awesome. Four. They're on AZ Billiards. Okay. Yeah. Is there one in particular you well, want to know? Yeah, about? I want to know about Rick Granis's match over there. He was leading, but I don't know if he closed it out or not. Well, he's got a, a good he was opportunity. On table twelve. He was on table twelve. He's got a real good opportunity here. He's right in line right here. He's playing an Irish fella. Uh, oh oh. Uh, Irish Wrong name, side. Anyway. It must have been the previous round. He got, he, it was the uh, 6 o'clock round. Oh, yeah. I don't have those here. What does he have here, <coughs> Bill? A safety up to or, or cut this in? He's Is this the two ball issue not here? Yeah, yeah. Well, what would I do here? I, I, Played a short I, side I, of the three. I would, play, I would play a safe here. Send the two right up to the three? I would thin the, I would thin the two very lightly. Leave it on, on the short reel. Oh, on the Brunswick, the right, right. Yeah, yeah he's cutting this in, man. Well, he may be trying yeah. to, but uh, you know, it's it, a tough it, cut to reach oh, that. Oh, to reach the safety. To you know, to make that reach the pocket, you're gonna come down and back again on the three. He's playing it safe, I think. And he switched up. Nice. No, cut. Oh, yeah, he, he had it. it that way. Yeah, I didn't see that. <laughs> no, the I never saw that coming. This is what he wanted to take a good look at was his three and his eight ball up well, there. The eight ball resides at the top right hand corner. Yeah. I didn't think he could make that ball. No, I didn't either. He played that real well. Made it look easy. Yeah, I thought he was going to the other pocket. Yeah. Yeah, but he just identified his problem. He put his hand on the table way up here, and that's where he thinks his cue ball is going. Or the three, if he plays a carom. 
You might have to go up and down, you know, three into the eight, and then you hit it and go up and down. Hey, you really don't have to come out too far, Bill. You know, just come up to the middle of the table. You really well, don't have to get five, perfect. The seven, does, he, does he have the, the billion? Five and right. the seven might get in the game. Is the yeah, yeah they, they're definitely a wall there. Is the count for the eight no good here? The what? The count for the eight, the billiard. We, well, we can't tell. If the eights a crack off the reel, maybe you could do that. You know, if it was a crack off the reel, you might could consider that, sure. And then where do your three and two ball line up? You'd, right, have, to keep, you'd have to hit it real soft so the three doesn't yeah. move much. But yeah. I don't think that's what he's thinking about. No, now he's looking at no, a he's, safety he's play. Got the, he's got the cut. He's got the cut. He's going to go up and down. I almost bet on it. he tries to go up and down on this. No, yeah, look at this. Safety he's going play, with what yeah. you said, Ed. He's going for the billiard. No, he's going to put it behind the seven. Yep, look what he did. It was a nice shot. Wow, well, it really he, was. He hit that good. See, he really controlled that shot. Okay. He almost, you know, if it hit a little harder, he'd have made that bank <laughs> and hooked himself. And Pat's got a two-railer here. Oh, no. The, fi the four's in the way. He's got a one-railer, maybe. You know, his kicking is, has been really good during our practice sessions. He lines up so good sometimes. And, yeah, and but you know something? This is a really, really, really difficult kick. This is, yeah, well, Boy, well, no, yeah, really. Boy. Look, at he's just counting. He's at the halfway mark here. He's probably going to make a great, he, he'll probably make this ball, right, Jerry, and run out? <laughs> so it's, good luck. Uh, I wish I had your well, optimism, nice. That's a beautiful kick. Oh, that was great. Oh, don't scratch. Well, great, great, great. Good for him. That was a great kick. Good result. There's no bias in the booth, folks. This is just no, to, yeah. just, just to hit that ball was a wonderful <laughs> yeah, shot. It, it was, sure was. really was. It sure was. The rest was a little fortunate, and, but, and, but and you needed that. And at the score, he needed that too, you know? Sure, yeah. absolutely. Same thing, send the three up to the other Brunswick now and just leave them long. Two well, three. you can't send the three back down the other way because you have nothing to hide behind over here. Well, no, just to leave it long and on the on I the top. I think I'm going to thin the three and try to get behind either the four, the nine, the five, something like that. You know. Yeah. A lot of distance here, folks. If you want to find out the score in the arena on any other table that you're interested in, simply go over to azbilliards.com. On the front page, just follow the live stream yeah, link. You might have got down oh, there. Look at the bracket four, link, yeah. and it'll See, bring you right to the live scoring. Shot. Now, there was a good shot. He that was it, a good he'll shot. He'll be able to hit this three ball, I think. Yeah, well, if he has that edge, he could almost make it, too, if he has to well, cut it. Well, he have to curve it a little bit, and then you got to keep out of this right-hand pocket over here. You know? He might can yeah. fit between the... the, the uh, He'll be happy with the, the hit five right here. and the seven. If he can fit between the five and the seven and not not hit, you know, either one of them, and then curve into the three. Yeah, like that. Oh, he's you spinning see. around yeah, a yeah, little. Yeah, he's got to curve into the three a little bit. Just hit it not too hard. Perfect. Look, at he might make it. All right, wow. Mr. Fleming. Oh, and he got that on the four nine. Keep the cue stick in your hand. You're gonna have to jump. Yeah, do something hey, for him, but, he made, but he got out of that problem. Yeah, he sure did. But you know what? I like a, I like him kicking at the top of the squall ball and the cue ball going towards the seven up that area, for possible safety. See it? Kick the top yeah, of this four. Sure, bring the four sure, back down by sure. the nine and keep the cue ball up there. I'd like to just hit the four. Right. Oh, well, you don't right. want to just want right. to hit it. You want to hit it with a plan. You don't want to well, just hit I'm it and leave it a duck. I'm going to hit the left long rail because of the plan. But other than that, I just want to hit the ball, middle of the ball. Right, right, if right. If it goes down there, that's great. If it goes up here, then that's great. You just don't want to. I don't want to give him a ball. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Well, you don't want to leave him a shot either, right? No, of course not. I, I hate hitting oh, a little. Look, Pat hit, hit it. A Pat hard. hit it with a plan of playing safety. Too bad, <laughs> Mr. Fleming, sir. <laughs> wow, he got the best of that. We'll see if he can't well, make this in the well, side. He may be able to. Sp oh, yeah, look at that. He may have this right in the side. I can't see. Somewhat of a window there, at least to hit it. Every once in a while, give him an elbow to your right. Look easy, it. easy. You know what? Here it is. If he just. He just has to hop the edge of this ball. That's what he, he should doing. have this. Yeah. And I'll start in trouble again, Jerry. He made a great shot, yeah, but he didn't, get him, he didn't get much of a shot in return here, I don't think. A lot of times we do mute Eddie's mic, and he thinks he's on the air. I still think I'm talking, yeah. <laughs> now, is that 7-8 dead? Can you, see, can you guys see if the 7-8 is dead? The 7-8's yeah. Yeah, good. Uh, so the three's, he's, the, but three's he's, the game pretty much. Yeah. He, he's That's got the five, but, a, yeah, he's got to get to it. I like it. a firm bank right here. Is that the five? I mean, the yeah. five ball. Yeah. The five's the game. If he makes the five ball, he'll have 
No way to miss the eight. See it right on that corner monitor. You see it? Yeah. Is he looking at the side pocket for this five ball? Is that what he's looking at? I would think he was looking at a bank. That's what I might want to cut it. Bank or, or uh, cut banking. up the corner yeah. or cutting the side. He's got a few options. I think he's banking the ball. He just got to hit a little firm here and just. Well, it's not at a real great angle. No, I no. Mean, but, you know, the cue ball's got to come this way to make the bank, I think. Cut this right down the corner. Go back and forth. Yeah, automatic. Let's do it. <laughs> He's certainly capable, but he keeps measuring that bank, so I think that's the way he's going. He might be playing it two rails safe, banking the ball two rails, right yeah. long rail, left long yeah, rail, and back down that, the bottom. Yeah, he could do that, but you know the problem with that is the, the, the chance of making the five ball is going to be too great no matter where he puts the cue ball. See that eight ball? You could bank a ball and bank it back in the eight. It'll help it get in the pocket there, right? right. Or you could bank a ball into the seven or, or yeah, build it goes the to cut, right down the rail. There's a lot of options, yeah. He missed it. No, he, he made the eight. Look, no, oh. no, he didn't. Oh, it's still dead. Well. So the, so the five is the game if he can make it. Yeah, he just cinched this ball and he'll be good. You could just stop right there, Fleming, and you'll have everything you need. Yeah. Well, you could shoot it in the corner. I would, might shoot it in the side even because you're going to have oh, a little yeah. better angle on the seven if you do that. Yeah, I think he just needs to cinch it down in the corner. Watch your back, Fleming. The guy's racking behind him. He don't know he's there. Pat's got a 54-inch cue, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's not like he's going to hit anybody with that. No, one. no. That's a Skip Weston cue. That Pat plays with? Yeah, yeah. You know Skip. Yeah. You know Skip. I ain't seen him in years. Does he make cues anymore? You know, I don't think so. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about it, so I don't hear any advertising. He made a pretty good cue. I used to have one. I bought it off a guy named Dino from Chicago. Do you know him, Dino? Dino Andrews? Yeah, Dino. Yeah. Looks like he's going for the corner. He's not sure what to do. I like the side pocket naturally come up at seven, but to each his own. Yeah, I like the side myself. Well, nice shot, Mr. Nice. Fleming. It's a beautiful shot. Now this, take your time, Pat. Yeah, this will get, get him back in it a little bit. Ooh, well, he that's going to work. Yeah, he did good. But he's got to come around now, three yeah. rails, right? Yep. Well, that's okay. He's, he he's may just bounce out to the middle there, too. He doesn't have to come around. Yeah, he'll let out the stroke here, though, wouldn't you think? Yeah, just stay away from the uh, side pocket. Don't would, draw it too I much. Would, yeah, because coming off the third rail, he'll be in line with his shot. Yeah. So why not? Yeah, I, I would do that. You're right, but uh, he doesn't have to. If he doesn't overhit it, or he could get lucky Went and to the other side. Look at there that. we go. <laughs> I'll take that. Whoa! -ah. <laughs> overran it just a bit. He wanted to be on that side of the nine. Just overran it a little bit. He's happy. <laughs> All right, Pat Fleming. Puts his third mark up. Trails now. Yeah. Let's Five see what he does. three in this see if, match. See if he does this soft break and puts the one down on the rail. Do now. me a favor. When Jerry's calling up the score, just hush it up a little bit there, fruitcake. You hear what he said? <laughs> Jerry, next time you want to list the score, you check with me first. I right? will. Anyway, I let him speak. I this hate you, Al. I hate you. This is the opportunity I get to do it publicly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here it is. Now watch this break. Watch this break. Cue ball the bottom rail. Oh, look what he did. He, he let it out one. there. Now he went to make one. And he got good. Look how good he got. Oh, he got great. <laughs> yeah, this is beautiful. And there's not a problem on the board, except for maybe just. He's going to push, but he's going to push himself into a trap here. The well. two not going by the nine. Mm. He's not going to like his next shot. Does Pat give it back? Yes, he does. What? Yep. Yeah, you, know what his, you know what his thinking is? Let him make the mistake. Yeah, That's his thinking a, on this. Wall, there's a wall of balls here. Yeah, you, yeah you're I know, giving I know. Matt a chance to really lock you up here. He hit it bad. Yeah, oh, and oh, he's still no, blocking. He, well. he, he, went, he went to just get behind those walls. That's not a good That's not a good safe. He's got a two-wheel kick here. Right. Leave, leave yeah, the ball up kick. the other end of the table. Yeah. Right. 
That ball come up the other end of the table, and he'll be down there. You know what? Is he looking at a two-railer or a one here to send the cue down and off the top of the one? No, I'd, you know? I'd be doing it two-rails, but uh, yeah. you know, we'll see what But you're right. That angle yeah. he just measured was for one. Yeah, that's what I thought. No, he no? did two. Good. Okay. And he got the worst of that one. He sure did. Oh, boy. Oh, he got it real bad. Wow. Yeah, he didn't, that's he didn't. like ball in hand position right there. He got behind the ball too well. Yeah. You know, and then Q traveled up the rail over here. He needed to hit a little thinner. Look at this. He'll just stop right there, shoot the two, bounce up for the three, and he's good. Two, three, four, five, six, Yeah, pretty seven. good layout. Pretty good layout. Does the seven get past the nine? Yeah, and the eight. Yeah, eight every, goes in the other pocket. It, it's, I could see this happening. Yeah. He, he might get out here. Most people would like this layout, I think. Most people. I mean, most pool players would. Yeah. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think that Donald Trump would care for it much. <laughs> <laughs> well, he got good on that ball, too. Look at that. Good angle. Perfect. Yeah, that two to the three was almost game ball. This could get touchy. That eight ball there. Yeah, now, yeah, that did come into play a little bit here. He just needs to be careful now. And it's not much to, but it, it does come into play, don't it? Yes, it does. And it can grow big ears. Yeah, you want to go forward, but then you're afraid with the eight, and you don't want to go be, forward, but you don't want to. He may be going to hit the eight here. It may be laying perfect to hit the eight. You know, if he makes this ball, it may be automatic he's going to hit the eight. Stop shot. We'll stop right here and, oh, no. That. Did well, not I, don't pay this, off. I don't know if the six is in the way or not here. You know, it looks like it is in the way. Uh, but I wouldn't bet it is. Yeah, because yeah. oh, he's boy. measuring that combo. Well, so. Pat caught a break right there. <coughs> sure did. Well, he caught a break so far. It depends on the outcome of this shot. No, no, I mean, Pat's happy he's got to shoot the combo. Let me say, put it no, that way. But no. What he's thinking about is the five ball is going to be moving toward that head rail. The cue ball is going to be moving toward the foot rail after this shot, so what's he gonna do with the five? That's quite a bunch of ingredients to Wasn't that something? have it was to like, calculate it was when like you're down soup. there. You know, it's, it makes it a lot harder. This is a real easy safety to freeze right to the six. Yeah, I like the right, safe. Right, right. I love the safe. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's thinking safety here. He's an aggressive player. He likes to make shots. Normally, he might not want to think safety, but this one's laying safe. Right, so it, is, it is laying good, yeah. He's close enough to, the, to his work to make this ball, though. Yep. He made a great shot. Wow. Yeah, the eight ball great gets a shot. nice roll. Great he got rewarded shot. good for that. Yeah, the Welcome ball. to the game of nine ball. Eight ball helped him a little. Didn't hurt him. He just fouled the ball. See, he just fouled the ball. He shot over. Moved about four inches. Did it. Yeah, it didn't go before. Now it goes. This one got away from him a little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is killing me. <laughs> you know, he quit. Pat quit another break. You know, he gets on the reel. And this became a more difficult shot yeah, than it had to be. Yeah. This Look is a it. hard shot, yeah. Because the, the nine actually is impeding the pocket the slightest bit. Maybe he's got 99% of the pocket, but he's got to sweat the other side. He's got to on worry the way about. Back, right? He's got to worry about if he overcuts it and touches the nine. Uh, yeah. Well, Pat did catch a little bit of a break here. Oh, look, he thinks he's going up there with the ball? What? He could go cross side and scratch if he makes That's what ball. I'm thinking, yeah. Oh, he's banking it. Wow. Well, Mr. Fleming, you're at, you're up. These are the breaks you've got to take yeah, advantage of. Is, uh, especially uh, when you're behind. And this is it, get good on the eight and it's over. If he runs out here, he's, it's five for him breaking. He's in the game for sure. He's going to... Tippy, how are you, Tippy? Tippy McManus. I'm doing fine, Tippy. Nice to hear from you. He'll, he's going to bounce over two reels, get perfectly in line with his eight ball. Good nice. speed. Good speed. See, he hit that real Perfect. nice speed there. That was a nice speed. Yeah, yeah, he learned his lesson about the speed, maybe. Sure did. Yeah. Now just come to center table. Love that center table. You could draw this. You could follow it. Whatever you want. But come to the middle. Yeah, I would just follow this right up and bounce down. I know, and he's drawing. Yeah, he is drawing it. 
I'm not going to question the man. <laughs> this guy's. See, Jaws gets on the reel. That's the problem with drawing it. <laughs> but he's got it. There it goes. 5 4. And uh, Fleming's breaking. It's almost an even match now. What happened? Did I miss the score here? Oh, sorry. Oh, no. We're <laughs> Jerry's. Jerry. Five four. <laughs> I, I believe. Yeah, it's Pat four. one one. It's five yeah, four. It's, five four. It's, yeah. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> five four. Wow. And, and Am I wrong? I don't know if I'm wrong. I'm just watching the carnival show beside me here. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I think it is five four. Yeah, it is. I, I happened to not. I wasn't paying too much attention until he came back a little. Well, Pancake, uh, his name is Sean. Everybody knows him. He gambles with the best in the world. He's, he's, he can't hit the floor if he dropped the ball. Uh, just stopped by the booth, and he said uh, he played Donnie Mills in his first match. And he said, Al, I just want to give you an update. He says it was I missed one bad shot, and he beat me 9-1. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Donnie's brutal. Yeah. That's Pancake. You know Pancake, right? That's funny. You know Pancake from Newburgh? I know who he is. Okay. He played Jason Shore, and uh, Jason had to give him 12 games on the wire going to 20. And uh, the four out. I think he's going to stop the cue ball right here. He's just going to bank this ball out of there and stop the cue ball right behind them balls. He might even make this ball by accident down the other end. Oh, he didn't do that. What did he do? Safety. 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 It's a pretty good idea. He's got, you know, yeah. all that wall of balls there. Yeah, I don't mind this, but, you know, I prefer to leave the guy behind the balls with nine feet to kick at it than one foot yeah. to kick well, at it. Well, there's another thing here. If he kicks this real square, if he goes two rails at it, watch the action of that nine ball because the seven ball in the that bottom right-hand corner <laughs> is making that pocket pretty that big, big here. Big pocket, yeah. Watch the action here. Whoa. Oh, wow. Pat Fleming was hunting for it. You can bet on it. Well, I see the four is a little bit of a problem here. Well, what's the tangent? He's got to get good on the three here for the three in the end. What's the tangent line between the five and the nine? Does that nine go into the corner pocket? Maybe. We can't see. No, no, I'm looking at the four in the, in the opposite corner yeah, where he's shooting the two ball. He just needs to get better than that for it. It could be the nine's a dead kiss off the ball in the corner. We, I don't, don't, I, we, don't, we I, don't know that. I think it's a, a little too high. Well, he didn't get up enough for this ball, I don't think. Did he? Oh, for the four in the lower left-hand corner? Maybe he did. He yeah, could, he did. He could shoot the, the four in the left side, and then that would open up the five. If he goes into it, it could open the five off the nine if the five's a problem. If he had to, yeah. Oh, he spun that a little bit, too. He's definitely going into it now, though. I can't stand it. <laughs> are, are, you, are, are you still calling the last game? Because Come on. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new game? <laughs> Come we on. can't wait for Eddie to get on that boat and start heading somewhere. Uh, <laughs> uh, did, you, did you let everybody know that uh, Eddie is now using Cuddy Sark as one of our uh, yeah. sponsors? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that yeah. angle obviously was not on. Yeah. And, uh, and J and B, white, nice white. shot he played right yeah. there, Jerry, separating nice that. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie is a, a Doors white label, J and B, Cuddy Sark. He's a several. George Stag Bourbon. <laughs> Well, Matt doesn't really want to get too straight on this. He wants to have the angle go back around the eight and come shooting in the same pocket and still hold an angle to come down for the nine. Now, the nine's a sitting duck, so he can stop anywhere on the table after the eight. He can't reach the cue ball very well. So yeah, he's, he's got to go around extension it. extension out, and, and uh, if he can reach these level, try to come back out this way. I think he almost hits the eight if he does with, that. With that extra weight, the draw becomes a very easy shot to come right back out to the center of the Is table. Is that right? I, th I think Al's right. He may go around it. He's snatching it back here. Yeah, he is. Maybe he's going to hit the eight with the cue ball. Maybe. No, he I don't think so. It. He's going to clear it. Yeah. He grazed the well, eight. Well, he did graze it. He did it. graze the eight, yeah. But he got away with it. It was one of them in-betweeners, you know? Yeah. He could do either way. And now he's he's now, left now stretching he's, a lot. Uh, he, might end up, he may end up with a long nine ball. I don't know. Again, folks, uh, we're going to try to get Pat Fleming in the booth later on. There is some major announcements. That he's got a lot of things happening. After, yeah, after Pat wins the set, we're going to get him in the booth, right? <laughs> no. If he wins the set, absolutely. Never uh, a doubt. I think he's going to win it. Now, this guy hasn't missed a nine ball in a while. And he's not going to miss this one. No, he's not. He's not, he's not going right. to miss this ball. Hey, listen, you see that sweater he's wearing? 
Yeah, those sweaters have been known to slow a man's stroke down. Also been known for keeping your arm warm. Matt Tetro leads the match six to four now. Didn't slow his arm that much. Oh, Tim Davis, the spin master Tim is is uh, is watching the match. Yeah, I told him I was on. He's from Endicott. Great player out of Endicott. Jerry, we were talking about the RV pass, you know, how you get half prices in a lot of places just yeah. to get off yeah. the match as uh, it's uh, Passport America. Oh, yeah, I've heard of them. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what I did here. Wow. Well, well he's got good break. a really good result off that break. Yeah. Pat may be sitting a while. Oh, yeah, look at the two to the three. Everything's, Everything's laid out nice. It's a road map. Yeah, it really is. You'd take this break for the rest of your life. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Not in one pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He just turned this into a little more difficult than he needed to be. Now he's going to move the cue ball a little further than he wanted to. He has that speed pretty good, though. He, he's yeah, he almost straight. got near the rail there. You yeah, know, right, right, right. It would have changed it up. And, and now he's going to have to stick it there and stay above the nine. So I stay, you know, draw back and stay above the nine here. Yeah. Good shot. I don't know if this ball goes in the side, the five, it goes in the side or, or not. If not, he might follow down two rails in a round. I'm not right, sure what right. he's going to do. Came went, straight I, I, didn't, I think, didn't like that I didn't think he could have did that. I didn't like it at all. Yeah, That's why I didn't even think about that because it did look bad to me. He's not liking this too much. No, he doesn't like this at all. Now he's got a safety. Yeah, he's going to try yeah. to come back uh, under the nine here and, right, the, right. and put that ball on the short rail. Up on the Brunswick game. Yeah, well, he's got to create as much distance as he can. He could get this out either on the short rail or under the eight even maybe and get the cue ball up under the nine. Or maybe both. He's not looking at cutting this down the rail, is he? I don't believe so, no. He's looking at it funny. I don't know what he's looking he's at. He's looking he's looking at where where he thinks he can place this cue ball by the nine, I think. See how he does. Yeah, that's exactly what I would well. Exactly there. Pat got a little fortunate he could see the ball. Because if he would have hit that behind the eight or behind the nine with the cue ball. I don't know how far the five is off the rail. Is it about a ball off the rail, the five? It's, it's 2.138 inches. Okay. I was, well, if it was a little bit closer, he would double hit this five. <laughs> go right into it and double hit it. Not at that distance. Eddie, it's too hard to do. I'm not talking about to send the cue ball back to where I, he is. I know what you mean. Yeah. I know what you mean. But if the table isn't perfectly straight at this distance, forget it. Half the table, maybe we try that. That's one of his old favorite shots. He used to like to do that. Yeah. And he was good at it. But you got to know the table and execute that from this distance. I doubt if he would think about it. This is a tough safety right here. Sure it is. He'll go off the left side of this, I think, and maybe try to get the cue ball behind the eight somehow. Wow, that's like If he doesn't do vicious. that, he's got to go for the bank. He's got that or go for the bank. What else is he going to do? Sometimes you might just go for the bank. I'm not saying not to. Yeah, but, uh, right. You know, some people do that. That's what he did. Well, he was in trouble for uh -huh. sure. Well... He got the worst of that. Well, he'd have been a hero if he made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah. right, you're right, you're right. Tough, tough bank. All that distance. This is pretty uh, a standard nine ball shot. Right. Uh, he should be able to come back almost in the middle of the table with the cue ball and get on the eight.
Oh, he, Ooh, the ball. Wow. Oh, my God. he jumped on that See, ball. He sure did, Jerry. Oh. Extra. He tried to do something extra that he didn't have to do. <laughs> well, no, he, he shot it. He shot his, the shot. And he doesn't even have a good shot. He just shot jumped here. up. Yeah, he just hard. jumped way up. Yeah. Look at his shot. It's very hard. The ball jumped off the short reel, come up so hard that I don't yeah. know if he cut it in or not. I guess it's possible, but uh, I don't think I'd shoot it. You wouldn't mm -hmm. cut this in? I can't tell from oh, here. Oh, Pat's going to cut this in like it's, very, like it's very close. It's this very is a swish for Pat. Being that far off the rail, I see Pat go back this right in. All right, he, hopefully, but he's got to go back and forth one, two, three times. He, right? he really right. likes he likes but with these this speed. You don't have to hit it that hard. One. He likes those cuts. Nice shot. He hit it beautiful. Yeah. Does he have the angle to come back? Well, he can get he could, back somehow or another. He could draw it down, stay to the left side. Does he tie up the game if he makes this? Uh, it'll, out? it'll actually make it 6-5 if Pat can get out here. Really? Pat's still trailed by one. Oh boy. He's drawing this down. Now, trying to cheat these pockets isn't the easiest thing. You get yourself in trouble. He just drew oh, back. nice shot, nice shot. Closes the gap here on this one. Not, yes, he does. Not yet, this Bucky. I don't want you calling me Sparky. All right, Matt Tetro now leads our match, seven to five. Six five. Six five. Six five. Cool. I got six I, I five. Thought it was Am seven. I right or wrong? You're right. You're right. Yes, you're right. You're right. Rick, my friend Rick, lost his first match, nine to eight. I left there and he was winning six to four. I think Pat has a plan here, Jerry. Oh, Rick, you I'm know, sorry I it. left. I was. I, I, he wanted me to stay there and root him on, and I and I had to leave to come here. Taking all the stats through the years, I think Pat has a plan here. Let me trail and then come down the stretch. Yeah, yeah he's a closer. He likes yeah. to be a closer. Tippy's making fun of my aiming system. Tippy's in the chat. Tippy will never know my aiming system now. I'll never. Tippy, you go to eddythelock.com and you sign up for that, okay? Am I allowed to say eddythelock.com on here? Tippy took me. No, you're not. <laughs> Uh, There's a push out. Rick played real good too, Tim. In case you were wondering, he played real good. I watched almost all of his match. It was six to four, Tim. Uh, Rick and uh, and I had to come over here to work, and all of a sudden he loses nine eight. I can't believe it. Locksmith work stuff. Yeah. Sorry, Rick. Now this was uh, Matt's push out, and Pat gave it back. Yeah, a lot of distance here. Wow. Matt looking for blockers. Tell him to get out of the way. No, he didn't. Oh, get, he didn't, get, he didn't get any. But. Didn't leave him a pocket. Doesn't have a pocket for Yeah, but he left him a nice safe here. Yeah. You can put the one ball right back up on, into the seven and hide under the four. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good move. Some people shoot the one in the right pocket because the pocket's a little bigger than normal. Yeah, but it's... He, he's looking at it also. You got that two ball might, that might help the pocket to be large. I don't know if it's helping or hurting. At this angle, it might be hurting. Yeah, it might be. It'd be good for the three ball, big pocket, but not for the one. For the three into that, you know. You know what I'm saying, that angle. Yeah. Mm. He should put that right down. He's going to bank it down in this corner? Is that what he's looking at? I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. I, still, I think he was cutting it to the right by, by the uh, eight ball over there, but I'm not sure. Or by the two, what is that? Two, what is that ball down? Two, two ball down by the right corner. Yeah. Oh. Well, he left him a bank. No, he left oh, he left him, him, he him, left a, him shot. a shot. A shot on the yeah. one, but you know what? He can't really come up for the two ball off that shot unless he follows around. The three may be even in the game there. He'll zigzag this ball. I'm going to disagree with he's you, Bill. Get, I think he's going to get shape on this, too. He's going to get real good which, on it, which too. Which way is going to go? Under he's the gonna, six. He's going to uh, just back it up. Two Zig, rails. Zigzag it, yeah. Good luck. I don't think he can do it. Oh, no speed, but he... He did better than I thought. He did oh, he has a I pocket thought. for this ball, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He may, maybe, maybe not. It's close. But, but he did better than I thought. It's still a hard shot, this shot. He's got yeah, it. sure was. Good shot. Yeah, another good one. 
So his only problem is the five ball down here. And, well, the eights. Yeah, well, the three to the five is a hell of a it's shot. A, this ain't itself. over. This is ain't over yeah, yet. Yeah, this is not over. No, no, no. But three would have to be a really huge stroke to put on this ball and come up, you know, yank it all the way up to get the five next. Yeah, and then you got the six on the rail. This is a tough, well, you tough got, hat. you got the four ball up there, Bill, mid-table. Yeah, this is a oh, tough. Really? Oh, really? Oh, right. right. Tough see. layout here. So he just has to cinch this ball, yeah. pull it off the rail, right, and he's got right. the four to get to the five. Yeah. I didn't see the four. That color got me. I'm colorblind like Pat. <laughs> oh, he's drawing this up. Yeah. Well, Mr. Fleming, go to work. This is Pat's meat here. He, part of the he play. knows how to play around balls real well. He was a straight pull. Yeah, yeah. He's professional, so he may be able to do this. His inside English skills are tremendous. He's always been. Lucky he's got to use outside English on a shot. Looks like Marty Herman in the chat. I just glanced over at Cosmo. Yeah, hey, Marty. Glad you're around, buddy. He got good here. His only problem here is that six ball, right? He's going to shoot that up the rail. No, I don't think he's going to shoot it up the long rail. Yeah. I think he's going to come to the short pocket. Yeah, he, I hope he does. Is he going to try and get down on this rail here? Yeah, he did. Nice shot. Good speed. Perfect. Look at the angle and get yeah, back on top of the Look at that. Six. Nice shot. You like dragging this cue ball out long and getting really on top, using the short rail on top here and coming back for the six? I'd go to that's the top. How, that's how I put it. You wouldn't go to the top rail here, Bill? I'm yeah. going to go one, two, almost right. almost three reels almost for the three. six in right. this bottom right corner here. Right, right. And the seven will then. Yeah, just, just like, like just that. Like right. that. Right. There you go. And he hit the speed really well. Nice Don't shot. get too straight. He's fine. No, he's all right. Yeah. That's right where we'd love to have it. Maybe one inch more off the rail would have been better, but that's okay. He's got to be careful with his eight ball here. You know, it's a little. He He's wants to get straight, I guess, huh? And just stop it. You know, and bump I, hope, it to nine. I hope he doesn't slam this ball to bounce off the rail because this pocket may not take it. You know what? He could just follow it down and play you know, the seven, that, bump the nine. That's how I would play it. If he tries to slam the cue ball off the rail here, he's liable to keep that ball out of the pocket. Yeah, he's just going to follow it down and have bumped. I so don't think so. I think he's going to slam off the cue ball off the rail. I see what he's looking at. Now he's looking at the other one. The seven into the nine. Yeah, yeah. yeah play the nine, bump the nine and stop on it. See, that's, that's you know, you got to keep this ball in the pocket. If you slam to get off the rail, you love him, is it? That was the shot he needed to do. Perfect. Perfectly executed. Now he just has to execute this one perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> Nothing to it. Oh. Take your time here, Mr. Fleming, and he ties it up with this win, correct? He thinks yeah. he's going to he thinks he he's gonna hit the up. nine too thin. He thinks he's hitting the nine too thin, yeah. and it may not. He wants to hit it square. Yeah, he got yeah. a little low. He's afraid. Yeah, he got a little too low. He's afraid he's going to not get the nine out of the way now. I didn't think he got low enough to, to, to go up and bump the nine and stop on it. It was Eddie, there's nothing low enough for you, buddy. Ah, oh, man, why did I say anything? He's going to hit the nine here, but he may not hit it full. Right, right. So if he came down. A little. Ah, very good. No. Nah. He went the other side of it. That's he got what he had on the shape on the eight, though. No, he's yeah, good. He can, he can just pocket this ball, miss the side pocket, go two reels for the nine up here on the bottom. Right, right. right. And he may be thinking about doing that. I don't hope the side pocket is in the way. You know, I think uh, Pat's really starting to focus a lot more right. as this uh, match is this tight. He's, he's, he's really to, getting he's into digging gear. digging on the cue hole. Is he looking so under safety there? No, what no, is he? no, no, no. Bank the ball. Mr. Fleming. All right. Wow, nice shot. See, he felt there was a scratch in the side right, there. On right. that shot. He's firing at us, guys. Wow, well, good Could shot. tie it up 6-6. Six, six. Nice shot. And there's, for the, for the, <laughs> there's life in the old boy yet. The, for, the, for the tie. That was great shooting. Yeah, good for him. <laughs> a little gutsy banking that eight ball, you know? Absolutely. Well, he was. Yeah. I would have cut it in the corner and went around two rails like you said. 
Al's going to get it if he keeps it up. This, uh, believe it or not, might be the first Hill Hill match of the day. It's got that potential. Every match I do is Hill Hill, Al. <laughs> I've well, never done a short match in my life. We're scheduled for 10 o'clock. We're now sitting at 926. Yeah. Scores what? 6-6? Six, six? Yeah, 6-6. Six, six. No, uh, it's no Hill Hill here. Pat's going to win three in a row, 9-6. <laughs> Just package right out on him here, right? Oh, well, he made the wing ball. He never shoots again. He did make uh, the six. He married ball. the one. There you go. No, oh, no, he's got a shot on him. He's all right. He can't get to the two, but he's all right. Yeah, yeah two nine might be a billiard or something or a combo. He's going to draw know. into that. Look at that. Go ahead, Mr. Fleming. Show us the days of old. Don't, worry, don't use that word old around me. <laughs> yeah. You're older than him. Damn right. You're older than me. You might be the oldest person in the room, Bill. In the world. <laughs> <laughs> you ever get beat by a 97-year-old No, man? please. I, I, I can't afford another <laughs> hospital visit. I'm not eating at the pool table. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said that to me last week. I was beating this friend of mine, Lenny, in one pocket, and he, he stopped in the middle of the match. He says, do you realize I'm getting beat by a 70-year-old man? <laughs> he says, that's oh, not oh, right. Oh. He says, that's not right. I shouldn't be able to lose to a guy like that. Well, that didn't give Pat the result he wanted, but it's a, a good result for him nonetheless. It's frozen one ball. <clears throat> he called it frozen. So Matt will cut this right in. We're inside English, rail first shot. <laughs> Look at that. I think he's going to play a five rail here. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's going to the left side of it. Look. He's going to just try and bring it down by, what, behind the seven and down by the seven and four and under it, all that mess. He just wants to leave the one down there and the cue up here behind some balls, hopefully. Yeah, that's what he did. Look. Nice shot. He had all his balls to hide behind. Yeah, he did. He might have left in that window right here. Nah. I don't think if he so. did, he's going to jump no out, out of the window. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't mean the window to make it. I meant a window to hit, hit it. He didn't leave it. Yeah. He's got a one railer here, easy one railer. To, they're all easy from the chair here. This kick here, it's a funny kick. Depending on the speed, it depends on how you hit it. He's supposed to hit this a little firm, correct? Well, I can't tell the speed that, that's optimal here. I just hope he doesn't hit the top of the ball and go scratch. You oh, see look how he what hit he it? did. See how he hit it? He hit the top of the ball. If he hit it a little softer, he wouldn't have hit it so thin. Wow, well, that's laying good for the There's Herb Montiou, Endicott's premier, uh, premier player. That was pretty good. Yeah, he's gotten a good start here on this yeah, rack. Yeah. He has to draw up for this ball. Yeah, yeah, good Tim's thing to in the bottom of one pocket game here. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, oh, he's good. Thanks, Tim. That's a very nice thing to say. Well, he didn't want to be shooting over this ball. He may not be too much. Maybe just halfway. He's okay. Yeah, he's he's real close to his work. He's fine. <clears throat> and they just bounce up for the side pocket. Yeah. He wishes he was left-handed. Yes, he <laughs> yeah. Yes, he does. Well, the rest of this one's a cakewalk. Yeah, yeah. But it's a horse race. That's good. Yeah. Glad to see it close. Yeah, yeah. As Pat is, I'm sure, he's making his debut here after all this layoff. He didn't want to be. And no <laughs> reason for him to be embarrassed. Is you know. hear what Tippy said about you, Eddie? He says, Eddie gets beat by everyone, Bill. Thanks, Tippy. <laughs> Filthy animal. <laughs> He's another one I never liked. Tippy took my son and I out to a beautiful Italian restaurant up in the woods. I tell you, Oak Ridge, a restaurant New to die for. Oak Ridge, New Jersey. They Oak make special uh, plates for uh, Tippy when he goes there just to take home for his wife. I mean, they treat him like gold. Carbonara. 
Oh, spaghetti carbonara. Isn't that nice? That's one of my favorite. It's a heart attack on a plate. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it really is. That's a real treat, though. Yeah. Got some good semolina bread well, on the salad. Matt Look. takes the lead back at seven to six. We are racing to nine, so we're getting getting pretty tight here. Pat happens to be one of the greatest rackers in nine ball. I doubt if a ball be made on a break here. <laughs> are you calling him a mechanic? <laughs> not, not at all. He's just a great racker. <laughs> I'm saying he's very lucky. Al. I'm saying he's very lucky. Very lucky, yeah. yeah. But I do know some mechanics, by the way. There's about four of them up in Endicott where I play. Every time I hit the balls, nothing goes. There's a shout out to my friend Jerry Bugsy. They call him. He's very sick right now. We're hoping he gets better. Great player out of Endicott. Well, made the six. A little funny made on the two, one. Made little two balls. A little funny on the one yeah, here. Tough shot on the one. In yeah. fact, uh, it may be not pocketable. It may not be pocketable. I don't know if he cut that in the side. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. The and corner's blocked. The bank might be blocked. Uh, he play a safety to the to the other long rail, and but he's got to worry about making that four ball on the hit. He may try a billiard on the four. I don't know what he's yeah. going to try. If he can't get a, a, a safe out of it, he may end up with a billiard on the four. But then he'll get hooked behind the nine for the the one, well, one you know. Could be. Depends on the speed he plays he, that. Yeah. He's thinking about the billiard, too. Yeah. It's staring him in the face. Yeah, that's what he's looking where the one's going to go and where the yeah, cue's going to yeah. go. He needs to hit this a little firm then, that maybe. If he makes it real first. And then the cue right. will come and out and around. Will come out and yeah. around. That's what he looked at, the real first hit. But if he tries to make a real first, he's liable to overcut it and hang the ball. Yeah. Uh, but, as, well, I don't know. Well, it's no hanger. This isn't in the pocket. No, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is missable. He's pushing maybe? There's no, more than one pushing. way to, no. This is more than one way to miss this. And there might not be a reward for it either. You can't shoot the one up in that top corner, so... He could send it over there and still not get a shot after. Oops, he hit real oh. bad. He hit it real bad. Pat banks this ball. I'm thinking Pat's banking this ball in the corner, in the side pocket. It's not in the way, I guess. Yeah, no. And he's going to like it. He likes this. He's close enough to it. The angle looks pretty good. He makes good. this. He's straight in on it, too. And yeah, uh, right. And, and he may be good in. Yeah, like this could, be an out. Yeah. yeah, this could be game ball right here. He's going to make this bank if he's going to shoot it. He doesn't have to shoot. He's got a lot of options here. I think he likes I think he. Well, he, huh? for sure he likes it. But he doesn't have to shoot it. No, he doesn't. He could hide under the five ball. Yeah, really yeah, easy. yeah. Put that ball down the other end, you know what I mean? Well, that's what he did. Smart move. Got him behind the nine. Nope. He didn't get him, but he hit him. But he but hit. It, but it's a tough leave anyway. Brunswick so. to Brunswick. Yeah. We're diamond to diamond. He can't say Brunswick on it the diamond. It has the potential of a real devastating leave, but he didn't. He didn't execute it perfect. Perfect leave. Yeah, this isn't any one ball I want to shoot. Is, uh, he's doing that many uh, mini tournament at Afroaki Stats on Wednesday. Still Eddie down there in uh, Sandcastle. Yeah, he was doing a push out uh, race to three. Uh, well, he left him a big pocket for the one, maybe. Either that or a small pocket, but he, it's, he, it's a pocket. <laughs> yeah, right. and he's on the roof a little bit too. He's going to be shooting over that five. He's going to be elevated a little bit, correct? Yeah, but he, he could put the lead weight on his shaft. Or yes, he's got, yeah. a, he's got the weight. I forgot about the weight. I'm sorry. I think he's more worried about the rest of the pattern. This is Rick Granis. He lost nine to eight. I left. I'm sorry, Rick. I was there when you were winning six to four. <laughs> you played a great match, Rick. Played a great match. I didn't see the last. I wish I would have seen the last game. He put the weight on. It's about an extra ounce and a half to the front of his cue. Right. 
I don't like playing this ball right now from way up there. Do you, Jer Jerry? No, but what's your option? Um, well, yeah, what's, what is your option? What's your option? I mean, you could try to cross bank it. You'll be able to make the four by accident. And then what do you do? Or you'll be able to double kiss. I don't know what could happen there. I think he's got to go for the shot. I, I think he's got to go for the shot. Because if he makes it, he's on the two on the side, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Tough shot. Yes, it is. He's a good shot maker. He's got to spin it, too, to avoid running into the nine. He made a nice Ooh, shot. Oh, look what he did here. Bounce, well, off the, bounce off the show a little bit. Get that bounce. Well, he's got the side pocket here now. You got the corner and the side. Where's the three? Three's, I think the three's off the table. It's the four down the four. here, right? Yeah. The four is down here? Four is the pink one. The four is the pink one up table. So he would, he'd like to shoot this in the side because it'll come out automatically for the four, but uh, you know, I don't know how, how much of an angle he's got there. Four is up table. Well, no, the five ball is way up table. The four right. ball is the bottom that's left the, corner. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. That's, that's where my color blindness comes yeah, in. Yeah. I cannot tell See, the difference between that four and if five. He, if he cuts the two on the side, he's right on the four. Right. You have you guys have me looking, thinking, what the hell are you looking at? And if he shoots it in the corner, he, he'll have a shot at the four also, probably. But I don't know if the side's going to bother him. Yeah, I think the side's a, the way to go here. It's just natural. Pocket speed, boom. Right, Al? What are you laughing at? Uh, a couple of my friends here are down at the lounge. Oh, right. Just relaxing a little bit. You made a nice shot. He's fine. He's fine. Yes, yes. Well, it's a little tough to get on the on the five ball, he but, he could, but he could do it. He might jack up on this, right? Well, he may. I can't tell. Yeah, this is a, a 50 yard line, whether to jack up or not. He, he may have so much cut on this, which I can't tell how much cut he has. If he has too much cut, Drawing it will only get him right on the three ball, like close to it, too close to it. What three ball? You know what? Yeah, he's, the, he's I mean, good. the neck, the five ball. I mean. He's going right. to go between the eight, nine and bounce. Oh, so he wasn't jumped laying, up. It wasn't laying good. It was really yeah. tough leave. So he was trying to go zigzag across the table because it was too much cut. Now he's going to follow this four ball down and bounce all the way back up. So this isn't easy either, but it's there. Well, you got to lay a stroke on it, but Matt's got a stroke he can put out. Right. Well, he's got to get, do that. But if he gets too straight on the five, where does the seven go? Oh, correct, yeah. That'd be tough to get really straight on this five, let the stroke out that much. Yeah. Seen worse things happen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got a really hard shot to get on the five. He's <laughs> right. a hard shot to get on the five. If he does it, who says he's not going to be straight? He knows he's got to hit it a little firm here. You know it. And he's not thinking about getting straight. He wants to get straight. He's planning to get straight. Then he'll worry about that later. Right, right. He's able to hit it perfect and get dead straight on it. Can he snatch this ball? No, he, he can't snatch it, right? No, there's nowhere to go on that. Going aside, no, he's, maybe. He's got to follow this thing. Missed the ball. Yeah. Well, Mr. Fleming. Off the rail, please. Look he didn't get any oh, gifts. Yeah, look at that. Tell you what, both players struggling. Uh, this is really not the Matt Tetro that we know from previous tournaments. And Pat Fleming, you know, really coming up on the sad end of the roll, so to say, and not really getting the shots when Matt misses. And this is why the score is this close. Is he looking at a safety here? No. No? Uh, if he's on the rail with the cue ball, I'm well, saying yes. I'm no, saying, he's, he's I'm off the that. rail, but he's he's close to the rail. Yeah, half, he's half a ball. He, he's got enough where he can where he can jab at it and draw it, or he's got enough where he can go forward and forward. pass the nine. He's got to go forward. Uh, I'm I'm able to bank the three down near the five ball. Oh, he's playing it in the lower left hand cue, corner. Put the cue ball up here. Oh, he did, he did go he yeah. there. Playing if he hits safe. this a good speed, it might be a good shot. Uh, he just got on the other side of that. Well, as long as it doesn't billiard in off the five, it's a it's a good shot. That's not bad because it's a thin cut, long shot. He'll end up back up here again, maybe. You know, if he makes this, cuts it in, makes it without touching the, the other ball, he's liable to end up right back up here or, or pretty far up here. And then again, how do you get on the seven? If right. You're all the way yeah, up here? Exactly. Yeah. This is 
No, I wouldn't want anybody's to, game right now. You know, nobody in the world has to get out from right Right, here. right. I don't care who you are. Except for Ephraim. <laughs> you know what he could do right Ephraim here? Ephraim spins his way yeah, out. You know what he could do right yeah. here? Is like, cool. Well, that's what Matt has to do. He has to spin his way out. He come off that four and stop on the eight, maybe, and that would be a big help to him. He's going to go up and down. Watch this. If he bumps the eight, he'll be good. No. Struggling. Well, well, Mr. Fleming, you got another opportunity here. Go to work. I'll tell you what. And this is, <laughs> that's this all is he best. should need. This is the best opportunity he'll have. Yeah, this yeah, it really is. It really is. Well, he still has to deal with that seven ball. He's, He's got to get the right angle on the five to yes. get on underneath that seven. But it's not the same. Situation and hold an angle now. to get back across the table for the eight. Exactly, but it's not the same situation now. He, he right. Can, but there's Damon. It's Damon. workable. He's got. Uh, He's a he, great player. He used to play with us at Endicott. Nice guy. He's so good at getting out of jams like this. Like get on that. He'll get so good on this five. Johnny Archer coming in. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. oh Jesus. Wow. No no bias at the, at this booth. You want to let him take my seat in here, uh, Al? No. Put his gear here. Oh. The scorpion. Hey. Gary off to your right. Georgia boy. Yeah, he's my neighbor. Yes, sir. Marietta Georgia. Marietta Billiards, correct? Yeah, Marietta Billiard Club. On Roswell Road. Right down from the big chicken. Did you hear did you hear him do the commentary for Chris Melling's April? That got really uh, nice on this. No, but I would like to have. He's good. Oh, you should have heard that. This was the most classic thing you've ever heard. Well, to tell us while they're racking, because he's Pat's not. about to get out here. Well, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah oh, he's is, out. Yeah, Pat's he's, out. We know he's, not, he's out. He's not out here for sure. He's got to hit this ball clean. He's got to come all the way across the table. Oh. Look at this. You guys would be in the presumptuous. Keep it up, Al. And this is no bargain either. He <laughs> doesn't have to get out here. What do you think it is? He, he should, but he doesn't have to. He's got a big angle on this ball for a lively table like it is. He's got to make another shot on the eight, and then he's still got to make the nine. A little bit of reverse here. Take him out to center table, and you should be happy. Nice hit. Do you want to wait? We want to lay a hundred to one. He makes this. <laughs> yeah. A <laughs> hundred to one. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Believe me. Ten to one, not a hundred to one. Hundred to one. So, Matt Tetrault now is on the hill uh, against six points. Is that what it is? Eight yeah. six. Yeah. That was a pivotal game. Yeah, there. it really was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pat's throwing the balls in the rack. You know Scotty he's a little v, upset. Scotty, your good friend Eddie. He says, "Wow, Scotty Bannon. Friends. Scott, you got friends? Scotty, good. I got." Good I, to hear. I have everybody's keys. They're Where's all my Pete? friends. I haven't heard of Pete Fleming. Pete ain't, ain't been around. I texted him before. Is yes, he watching this? I hope he is. Of course he should be, you know. Oh, but he can't get uh, no chat. Petey can't get a chat. Sorry, Petey. Can't get a chat. Sorry, yeah, something with his Adobe Flash crap. Yeah, you know? Tom updated. It's very simple. Don't worry, Pete. Nobody wants to talk to you anyway. <laughs> I do. I haven't talked to him <laughs> oh, in a while. Oh, Petey. <laughs> we love you, Petey. I'll see you at the open, I hope, Pete. I hope you're uh, in a real good mood, Pete. Yeah. Ooh, okay. that nine ball was well. Come up dry here, so Pat's back at the table. <laughs> well, yeah, well, don't wait. let Eddie don't cut anybody off like that. With this. <laughs> now here, here. I, I What's go he the, talking I, about? Listen to this. I go off the right side of the one here. You come up all the way up here and try to save him because if you hit it too fat, the two's blocking the pocket. Right, right. You could do something about him snapping you at know, me, do you Jerry. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, that's absolutely. Like a, that's like a really good idea. Oh. Get the one know, past I the know, side. I don't know why he did that. Now if he makes this ball, he, he has shape on it. Yeah, yeah, he, he just has a cinch you know, this. Right. He cinches his ball, he gets a two ball. Right, right. The other way, he had a good chance to leave him safe. Come up and even cut a shot at the nine ball two rails. 
tough work right here, though. This is tough. He missed it. Yeah, yeah. He fell for the trap. Well, he left him tough. This is, this is another, uh, maybe a bank or a save. I can't see if he can bank this. If he can bank this paddle bank it and get shape on it, too. Because it's a free bank? Maybe. All that traffic there. It could there. be. Yes, there's a lot of traffic in the way. It could yeah. be a free bank. It's got to hit at the right speed. You know. Oh, he's looking at something else here. No, he's looking at the bank. You can bet your life on this. Oh, he sent the one over. Look. He's trying to slow him down. He's trying to slow him down, get him out of stroke. Good safety. He got a back kick here, but that was good. Yeah, he's Pat's using some good strategy here. Yeah. He wants to make him, a, you know, next time he gets up with a good shot, maybe he won't get out. Yes, yeah, Skip. Are you talking to somebody in the chat, Eddie? Skip? He was asking a question about Pat and Matt. Oh, is that Skip Mahoney? Yeah, I, I think it is. I don't know. I don't know oh, he had a hit on the ball. He didn't make the two, though, but he's... He oh. saved him to death. He put Pat in jail. Well, I see a pro I see an out for Pat right here. You do? Yeah. You send the two right behind the five right here. Yeah, and then the guy gets and, ball in hand, and, and what? Make, well, what do you want him to do, make the nine? What do you want him to do? No, you just tie up the two. Look what he's going to do. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Could be worse. No, it's not bad, but he lost with ball in hand. Well, yeah, but yeah, but he had a tough hit anyway, and, and this way he's guaranteed to tie that up. And No, listen to me. He's going to go off the one here and hide under the nine, break a two open with the one ball. Unless he's got that three ball combo and break it up right here. I'm, you see what I'm saying? No, no. Yeah, what are you saying? If it's a dead combo, he'll right. break, he'll shoot the combo. Right, right. If it's not a dead combo, he'll send the one into them balls down there and put the Q under the nine. Well, he's looking for some crazy stuff right there. Yeah. <laughs> getting, on, getting under the nine is a very easy. Looking for an eddy shot. He was digging deep easy, pal. Under the, under the nine is a very easy task here. That's a very easy task to get under the nine. He's going to stick him on the deuce. Well, that's another option. It's another option. No, that's he's going to play this that's hard. No, he's going to get on the deuce. No, he, the way he put it, uh, I was right. But this is a harder uh, execution than what I was telling you. Oh, boy, oh, look he's, he's trying to run out Stick him behind the five here. Oh, yeah. wow. He, so he, this is, that was about as bad of a choice as he could have made. Yeah, I didn't like that. Bad speed was what it is. Yes, that too. He might have to call a referee over here on this hit. Because he's just going to stick it there, isn't he not? And hope for the best. It's stick him close. on that it's five. too close to the ball. Right, right. I don't think he can do that. A lot of control there. I like Matt Tetro's Peter Pan shirt collar treatment. With his collar sticking oh, up Oh, yeah, in I there. see it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look what he's doing here. You know, that was, he could have come out a little bit better than what he did there. He's he had a lot of options there. There was yeah, a lot of options. The, I didn't like the option the, he took. The table speed got him I freezing a, up that, that ball. Was on, that was on a foul already. You know, that would have been an easy three in a row there. And if he wasn't so close, he would be okay with a good safety here, but he got unfortunate right there so pat's got to like that he got a little messed up here absolutely i don't know how he's getting out of this trap here he's able to push this ball as well you almost need a referee to call the shot i think he would call it on himself you think yeah yeah he would honorable fellow wow look at this it's a good shot yeah, he left him an easy one railer here. But yeah, but I mean, look yeah. what he had to work with. Right, right. Yeah. It's a good shot. Or maybe though. he has an edge of it. Nope. Nah. You go bottom rail first, you stick the cue ball, you, you try to make the two go up the other end. Maybe the nine or the six gets in the way. Yeah, that yeah. plumbing is on one. This won't be a foul unless he babies it. Oh, nice hit. Yeah. Oh, he well, he left him long, long. You know? Well, yeah, but if he makes it, he's straight in. Yes, three. he is, yeah. This could be game ball yeah, right yeah. here. If he makes this, this might be game ball. And the four is a little funny, though. He's got to get good for the three to the four also. That's true, but the four will go where the two goes. Right. If he makes this ball, he's going to shoot it for sure. Oh, he's going to hold it, too. He's jacking up. There's is a little, little bit of pressure on this shot. You think? <laughs> and he's on the hill, correct? Yeah. Wow. Oh, 
Oh. Nice shot. Yeah, he hit that good. <coughs> well, so see, he, he knocked it to the rail. It took away a lot of his options. He might have to go into the four right now, huh? That's one thing you might try. Yeah. It might go up and down. You know, there's other things you can do, but, mm. uh, but uh, you know, it took away a lot oh, of options. Oh, you know options. what? He can go inside and play the four in the opposite corner, the lower right-hand corner. Not slow enough. It's too fast for that. You know, oh, yeah? I don't think he can hold the ball. Oh, he went up and down. He's got the combo now. Ooh, this is really not what I'd like to be shooting. <laughs> I don't like this too no. much. They're far apart. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'd be hunting the duck. Well, it looks nice at this angle, but there's no pressure here. It's a good thing. When there's no pressure, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. If he loses this game here, the pressure will be for the next. Is that game. ball clear the six? To, no, no, it no. No. The no. issue here is the four ball can lay against the rail, and it'll be a four nine combination too. Right. Right. Or maybe the four could lay against the rail and nothing to go. The shot's right. got him talking to himself. I think he, if he's going to shoot this, he has to fire yeah, at it. Yeah, missed a six in a four-nine combination with Pat Fleming would be uh, that could happen ideal also. for Pat. Yeah, that could happen also. Well, he's looking at the nine ball here. What are you? That's what I was wondering, if that ball oh, passes He's looking the at the safety. For the, no, no, he's looking no. at a five, a four-nine combo. He's just combo. deciding whether he's going for the nine or the, or the six or the eight or whatever the ball is, the six. I thought he was looking to put the, the cue and the, the cue ball behind the six so he can't. But you don't want to leave a four-nine wired, even if you try that mm. shot. I can't believe he's trying this combo. Well, it uh, looks good to him. It might not look good to you. I don't want to shoot this. You have troubles with the colors. I don't want to shoot this with ball in hand. Look at this. Yeah, with ball in hand would be tough. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's going for the win, maybe. Yeah, that was just like crazy. I really Pat's thought gonna, that was a big mistake uh, on Pat's his part. Play it, it didn't turn for, out too bad for well, him. Pat's going to freeze him right to this other ball and play it safe, put it down the other end, hide it behind a solid ball right there. Yep. Oh, yeah. Good. Well, maybe Mr. Fleming gets back on the board again here. Notice the side of the six ball, that cue ball is on. Pat Fleming cut off that long left rail. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he did. It's pretty strong right there. He cut off a lot. This is a tough, tough hit right here. Especially he's a right-handed player. Left hand would have a little easier shot than what's the righty. What's he got to do, come three rails short above the eight to hit this ball, or he's going to go oh, three rails long? I'm trying to kick into the right side and hope I right. miss the side and come over and hit the ball. You yeah. understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could happen, you know. Some people do the zigzag here. Ephraim Ray's made the zigzag shot on the. He on, might. On YouTube. He's looking at coming down. It's on YouTube. The Remember that shot Ephraim Ray's did? Went zoot, yeah. zoot, zoot, made the ball over yeah, there. Yeah, against Earl, but. Sure. He, he, he was just looking at a one rail escape coming down that's to the foot rail. Yeah. Yeah. So you put his hand on the long rail, that's where he wants it. Yeah. yeah, I like the two railer here. Yeah, that's a I big do too. Yeah, it's a big ball with that two railer. It gives you an opportunity to bridge pretty clear too. You right. got part of that cue ball. Yeah, there. so he's not over the six. Sure. He's allowed to hit this. Yeah. Oh, he is over the six yeah, a little he's too. He's trying to do what I said. Missed the side pocket. Oh, good hit. Darn good hit. All right, Fleming, go to work. He's got the side pocket here, don't he? Or does he not? Well. Uh, you know what? A cinch on the side pocket, and he, and he falls right on the five perfect. Yeah, but that's a. It's a shot. It's That's a shot. Yeah. The first he, he guy's missed. got some rust uh, on his but, stick. But, but a miss on it also is a safety. Makes it double difficult. You're right. A miss on it would send it down table. You know. You want to hide behind the eight if you miss the yeah. side? Is that what you want to do? I think he's going to shoot it in the side. Mm, tough sides here. Yeah, you forget. It's easy from the chair with these tight diamond pockets. I think he'd come to the corner. But oh, he did. Look there at, we go. Wow, look at that. Pretty Beautiful ni shot. Pretty nice work. That was the shot of the day for Pat. It really was, Under yeah. Under pressure and everything. Yeah. There was pressure in the shot? The guy on the hill? You see Johnny Archer in the table above you there, hitting balls around. Folks, we're five minutes away from our 10 o'clock scheduled match. This match looks like it's going to put us behind schedule. Now, was he going for the six or the nine combo? All right, players, with the exceptions of table four, the seven, six. And no, he'll 14, just play the six. Please go to your tables, please. No, he's going to go for the six. He's not happy about Our that too rounds, much. Please go to your tables so we can get this round started. Let's go, please. Thank you. You know, he's pointing like. Like uh, he was playing position for the seven there. 
I don't think he was. I don't know what he's talking about. He's commentating. We should have wired him up. I think maybe he was. He pointed at the seven like I was playing for that ball. No, tough, I thought he was pointing at the seven like I didn't tough, see that tough, ball tough until just now. Oh, okay. yeah, maybe, maybe. It's a tough shot. You might have to slam this. Because he's not got the right yeah. angle on this to get the yeah, kind of easy it. shape he wants. Too hard. Way too hard. Mm, That's how he had to come on. around to get the angle on the shot, but Ooh, it was too hard for these rails. Great. Here comes the weight. Here comes the bank into the nine and send the ball back up table, correct? Billy, what? You bank the seven over and send the cue ball back up table. Leave him long. He's going to make Slow the seven down, ball Jerry. straight. He's going to make the seven straight. Hold him by the reins. And, and then do Whoa. that. And then and then play the he's eight from there. And then he's going to play the you, eight from do, down there. Do you see that there's a pocket right in front of the seven ball? You see the eight ball? Yeah, I do. I don't like you guys. You guys play nothing like I do. This is just ugly. It's a very hard okay, what? shot. See, he's got on the corner of the table down here, there's a pocket. Shut up to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think he can hear you. You got to keep it down a little bit. I'm you sorry. Don't, you don't want to shark him on his last shot. Oh my God! Nice shot, Pat. Break oh, out that on the rail. Break out that weight, Fleming. Well, if the eight's yeah, frozen, right. no, it's not frozen. It's not Look, frozen. It's not frozen. It becomes a real tough shot now. He's just going to make it and come out for another tough shot. You know. Yeah, but the nine's not that tough. So I, I, he's got to cinch this eight. And Believe me, when the other guy's on the hill, the nine's tough. You're going to be shooting from all the way down the bottom of the table. Hall of Famer will watch it here. Been in yes, that position. Yes, sir. He should be able to make this. I hope he it, makes this. You know, there isn't it. a pro on the circuit today that likes a shot like this. Uh, he hit oh. it with the right speed. You know what? That was big, really big there. That right speed stuff. Now, he might make this bank, but guess what? If he stays on that rail, right. he's going to have yeah, a hard Pat's shot. Pat's going to be that. liking that. Yeah. yeah. It's no bargain to cut that in. Even if he comes off the rail a couple of inches or three inches, it's a hard cut. All right, Fleming, go to work. Look at this. This is great. Yes, it is. This is good stuff. Not if you're a friend of Matt. <laughs> <laughs> See Pat looking at the camera smiling. He, he knows he could have break. Pat, Pat Fleming coming back. Our score now, eight to seven in a race to nine. Come back, Trail. He's happy to be here. <laughs> so, all in all, yes. not a bad showing by Fleming his first day out here. I'm under, proud of him. Under the oh, pressure, did yeah. Great. Did great. Especially playing a guy like Matt. Matt yeah. Matt's a shooter. Yeah, Matt. good for him. Good for him. And Pat, if you want to know who put you on the live stream, it was Jerry Forsythe. So it's Jerry's fault, Pat. The score doesn't matter anymore. He already he already accounted for himself. Really. Yeah, he already accounted absolutely. for himself. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Alton, New York, he's a regular on our tour, plays under the Golden Q. He's the uh, owner and operator oh. of the Albany. Bottom rail. Area. Look at that. Look at that. Eight ball. Oh yeah. Two ball follows the eight ball. Hangs. Oh, look Hangs. At that. So all he's gotta do now is concentrate on making the one. Medium stroke. You know he. I'm not even shooting if I'm him. I'm not shooting. I'm pushing one. from here. Yeah, yeah. He can stick it. He can stick the rock behind the seven. He's on the rail. Right into the one. He's on the rail here. No, he's got room to bridge. I guess I, I like to shoot balls better than you guys do. I wouldn't even think about playing safe. I got news for you. No, this ball's not on the rail. It's but if he frozen. tries, if he attempts that, there's a potential of that one ball banking into that two hanging in that side pocket. He might play himself safe. Yeah, that's what he's looking at. I'm not even shooting from here. This is tough, I'm pushing, tough. I'm pushing for sure. And the guy's on the hill. You know, it's just, it's just. I'd rather him. Oh. Well, he's going to push out a little. Look, look, look. Yeah, get a better shot. That's right. Now, now you can stroke the ball. Now you have options. Hello, Jared. Glad to have you in the stream, buddy. Looking forward to seeing you at the open. I don't think Matt gives this back. He don't like it, and the other, and he don't want to give it, and he don't want to take it. Right. It's a perfect roll. <laughs> right, right. Perfect roll out. Yep. If Pat hits this and sticks the cue ball, he might save him. He might make the two. You don't know. If he sticks him, he, yeah, right. He might make the two. Correct. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Then he gets himself in trouble. And that right. looks like what he's doing here. He don't know what to do. You could also play this real soft. Just roll it. Don't stick it. Roll it. Hide behind that ball and don't reach the two. Right. Right. Yeah. I like that. He gives it back to Pat Fleming. Pat Fleming's going after that two ball, I think. Okay, let's move on down to table number six. 
because the one ball comes, if it hits the two ball, the one ball comes to the bottom left-hand corner. Oh, he, oh, he back? Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. If it hits the five, yes, it did. And look at this shot he did. <laughs> nice shot. See, it That's, was off the reel more than we thought. We is. didn't know he could get behind that ball like that. Good shot. Good That's shot. some good thinking. If I could get behind that ball, I would have thought of that shot. That's a very smart shot. I, I, didn't, yeah. I, didn't think I, I, never, I never looked at that one either. Yeah, I thought it was almost froze. Spinning around this. Good Dangerous. Luck. You got it. You made it. No. no. God bless. That oh. was a great shot. It didn't go, but that was a great shot. Wow. Now I wonder if Pat plays this rail first here. That's not frozen. It's off the rail. It's not frozen. Well, even 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 if it's not frozen, a miss on a rail first like this is a safety. Because you'll bounce off the rail, send it right yeah, over by yeah, the five. As long as you hit the ball. Yeah. Right, right. Or he, he can can he put the cue ball over by the nine and send that one up a little bit? And, and he's still sponsored. Yeah, he can do that also, right? A, bunch of, a bunch of things might happen here, and some of them are good and some of them are bad. It's hard to tell. Looks like he's shooting at the ball. He might be doing what you said, Eddie. He tried to uh, hit it real first and safe him. Yeah, that's what he did. And it came up safe, see? Close match going on, table number eight. You, you made a good call there, Ed. Thanks. That was a nice call. I don't know if I would have tried that. It was a tricky shot. We do that at, at my house a few times. We've been working on that a little bit. And then I seen it right away. Well, Fleming, you're back in it now. Go to work. This one might be on the rail, or he might be able to cut it in. I don't know which. And, and Either way, if he makes it, he gets the two ball. Yeah, and he'll stop on the five, where he doesn't want to go in the side pocket. You see that happening? No, I don't see anything bad happening if he makes it. Oh, okay. If he makes it, I like it. He might hit the three ball, but he should get a shot at the two. Yeah. Yeah, just make the ball. Just make the ball. Right. Plays out of Snookers in Providence. He's formerly a junior champion. He's got some wins to his credit since then as well. Welcome Billy the Kid, Billy Lana, right there. Billy, Billy the, the kid. Kid's in town. I might put the lead weight on here. Gentleman's been here a thousand times, but this is his first time playing. Nice shot. Hit the three. Out the Watch out. Bounce seven. off of Bounce. it. Bounce. <laughs> okay. So no no favoritism. <laughs> he's, got, he's got some cheerleaders, doesn't he? He sure does. Well, I always root for the underdog, yeah. e even if I love the guy. Yeah. What does he do? Draws right. this over to the lower left-hand corner, comes out two rails, bounces he may, up. He may shoot it from right there. Oh, yeah, look at Just that. Just roll it slow and shoot sure. the three. Yeah. Well, he's so, looking at coming out two rails. Yeah. Depends what he can do. He might yeah. be able to hit it straight and drill back. He might be able to do that, right. You know, just get off the rail, he could get on the next ball. Yeah. Whatever he does from that was this point forward, he better make sure he shoots the right ball. This match is close. I'm going to correct him if he doesn't. That guy won't talk to you for five minutes. How great would that be? <laughs> yeah, you get called for outside interference. No, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. Steve Lillis didn't talk to me for years. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, and I didn't, never blame him either. Yeah, he's coming around two rails on this. Oh, no. Watch outside. He's all right. Oh, he's no, all right. no, 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 no. He's all right. Oh, oh shoot. He should have shot it from where the, where the yeah, side was. Yep, you yep. Know? Yeah, he had the cut on the three there, yeah. Well, it is one of these guys, but there's nothing in trouble here. They all look like sitting ducks. Yeah, I'm afraid it's all over now, baby blue. This is. Uh, and Matt Tetro knows that he he heard Pat Fleming's footsteps coming up the ladder yeah, behind him. He's a happy man right now. You're not kidding. He wants to he wants to get this over. With. It's too close. Yeah, he can't wait to get this one over. Yeah, you're not kidding. Good showing all around. It was a good match. I enjoyed it. I liked it. It's not over yet. Mm -hmm. Here goes the white ball in the corner. Yeah, it wouldn't that be the roll of the month, huh?
Oh, and he, oh, he sent it around. Nice yes. shot. Yeah. Well, that ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. Over. Distance the adrenaline there. got him a little bit longer than he wanted to be. Now he's got to wait on the fellow behind him. Yeah. That's Johnny Archer. And he's just practicing, and he's going to wait on him. That's, I'd be patting Johnny on the butt. No, so that's, that's a match going on there, Jerry. No, oh, they've already started? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. yeah this match is running a little late. Oh, what wow, a shot from Archer. <laughs> you see rail that? First. He kicked off the rail. Yep. I didn't see beautiful. it. Beautiful. Eddie don't pay attention. This is the match. I'm watching this nine ball right he here. This. If he misses this, he's going to lose the match. Matt Tetrault seals the deal. Defeats shot. Pat Fleming nine to seven. Pretty good game. It was a good game, and we'll be back with another one. Al, what you got next, bud? Well, I'll tell you what. I can't thank you guys enough for sitting thank in for much. this one here, Al, Bill and Eddie Cohen, and of course, Eddie. thanks, man. Jerry Forsythe, thanks, the great sir. Jerry Forsythe. But you know what? Pat Fleming's not out of it. He just moves over to uh, the uh, B side of the chart, so to say. And we're going to probably see Pat Fleming throughout this tournament. I, I, I just can't see him going to and out. Good shooting by Matt Tetro. Folks, a 10 o'clock match is going to start right away, so i got to end this recording.